Howdy. How's the migraine? Better. I feel much better. I'm good. I'm still drinking only water for now. Because, um... My head... I don't want it to come back. How much is the hat? What, the panda hat? 20 bucks. 20 bucks on panda.gg. Slash shop. Good evening, everybody. Happy Thursday. Reasonable hat price. I, I mean this sincerely, and I know that you're going to think I'm shilling because I work for the company. Panda really does uh, try to make stuff at a very low profit margin. And the reason for that is because we want people to have our stuff. That's really it. That's really it. We, we just want people to have it. Um, so there's not much in terms of like, you know, the, the hoodies and stuff are, are really good quality, you know? It's nice. Hope you guys are having a good evening. I hit Master in Pokemon Unite. Yeah, I had a pretty good day. Dude, it's actually not hard to do. Once you understand the game, it's pretty easy. Like, you, I think there's a point between expert and veteran where it gets exceptionally difficult to solo carry. The reason is a lot of people play in expert and veteran without really thinking. They're just playing the game for fun, right? They just end up at that rank because they play a lot. But once you get to a certain point, people do the correct thing. And then they start playing, you know? Burst through ELO hell. I think it is real. I mean, obviously it's because it's an early game, right? It just came out. But it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a valley. It's a reverse bell curve, okay? So it's like this, it goes uh, whoop. So you could solo carry low level games because they're terrible, right? And they won't know to stop you at the point. You could solo carry high level games because people will know at least how to back you up and they'll play around Zapdos. Middle? No, I don't think so. Way harder. It was very fun. How's your day today? It's good. Thank you for asking. Very busy. I'm trying to get ready for uh, leaving tomorrow. I'm going to be in Vegas for a week starting tomorrow. So it'll be, um, it'll be radio silence, unfortunately, for quite a bit. In case you didn't catch it, I did an interview with Inven Global, who do a lot of uh, esports stuff. So if you want to check that out, um, please feel free. It's not really about, like, streaming. It's about Panda, about uh, the direction that this competitive Smash and a bunch of other stuff are, are going. Um, but if you're interested, you know, check it out. What's in Vegas? My grandma's 80th birthday. That's what it is. So, um, she's 80. She loves slots. We're going out there. She's never met my daughter, so we want her to see her. So it'll be fun. Um, I'm not commentating attorney out there. I will be commentating. I'll be back to commentary soon. And I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work with streaming and YouTube. But we'll figure it out. Um, but I've got a... Uh, I'm streaming a bunch of events coming up soon. You'll see. For some reason, I can't... Expl I can't say what it is for some reason. I don't think we're allowed to say it, but... Uh-oh! Huel! Pop the link in chat. Well, boom! Guys, you can check out Huel Black Edition, which has everything you need to stay healthy and keep yourself full for the day. Guys, it works. I don't know how else to tell you. 
400 calories, only two scoops. You get the shaker, you get the scooper. I don't know why they sell that separately. I wish they didn't. And you're full all day. It's delicious. I had some earlier today. It was good. Big shout-outs to Huel. Thank you for sponsoring the stream. Thank you, Matt Chosey. For the raid. So, tonight, it's all reactioning all night, okay? Here's the plan. I've got two movies I'm gonna watch, okay? Two movies. One of them, sort of Smash related. You'll see. But I'm interested in it. Second one, not at all Smash related. It showed up in my recommended and I thought I wanted to watch it. Third thing, good news, bad okay. news. Greater than 400 calories, sub chung, the McGee poked. What? Uh, four, okay. Two things, okay. Third thing, good news, bad news. Bad news, it's a bounty. Good news, it's core. It's a core bounty! It's a core bounty! Woo! We're playing some fucking dodgeball, some fall guys, it's core. So I'm telling you this so you can download it now. We'll all play together. Uh, it does take a bit to download. I think it's on Epic now. So download it now so you're ready in like an hour, hour and a half. When we're gonna play core, okay? Install core now. Quick core bounty for tonight. I'm the best. Then I bought you recently. I've been mixing it with milk, actually. Yeah, I hear it's good. Uh, I just mix it with water, but I hear if you mix it with like almond milk, it's really good. Um, I haven't tried anything else. I just put in water, but I do feel like it'd be better with that. Um, but there's that. And then we're gonna close out the night. What's core? It's kind of like Roblox. It's basically a platform to make and play other people's games. And it's free. And I'm gonna be playing it tonight. And if you would like to join in, download core. And we basically jump from game to game. You'll see. Um, and then the last thing, we're gonna finish off Solitary. We're gonna finish off Solitary. Two episodes. We're gonna watch them both. So, two movies. Core yeah. bounty, solitary. In all seriousness, That's the plan for the evening. Saw some of your stuff, but never figured out what it was aside from maybe a sponsor, but in the stupid fake fan lol arrow sis. Basically, uh, bounties are sponsored portions of streams, but not full on. They're sponsors that like Twitch sets up. So that Twitch has something called a bounty board where they put a game up and you can decide to opt in or not. And if you opt in, you play a game for an hour or watch a commercial or something, and then they pay you based on that. They pay you based on viewership of that. That's how it goes. I get a lot of bounties I don't take. I only take a bounty if I think it'll be funny. Or if it's a game I'm interested in. Sometimes it's a miss. Like drone racing. But, you know, it can't always be bangers, right? It's not always all the time. Dude, chess wasn't my fault. That would have been good. Chess was not my fault. The, the fucking sight broke. Come on. That's not on me. Or if the payout is too good to pass up. Yeah. Yeah, No Man's Sky, I don't, I'm not having fun or it having making it funny. That's just payout, you know? <laughs> but tonight is core night. So we'll be playing that in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're just chilling tonight, hanging out. I wanted to do stuff yesterday, but my head was killing me, so. Uh, I'm also gonna tell you, I said this before. Um, it, but nobody believed me, but now I have the credo to say it, because I got master. Uh, Unite is not pay to win. It's not. Simply be better at the game. It's not. I'll say it. It's not pay to win. Doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. Everybody's pearl clutching and, oh, I can't believe they want money for their game. Oh, no. You unlock like 10 characters immediately. And the items don't matter that much. You do have to, you do have to, to, to get the items. Don't get me wrong. The items are important. Do they matter that much? Not really. And to be honest, the game is very simple. Once you understand the flow of it, it's basically, it's, it's very easy they to climb. They found my core account, you. Kony, and I did nothing but have fun with you. You had fun with, maybe it was all those slurs you said. Do you remember all those slurs you typed in chat, E. Compton? Remember all the slurs you typed? Maybe that had something to do with it. That's defamation. That's definitely defamation of character. I, he didn't do it. He didn't do that. Uh, no, but I, you don't have to pay any money. I did not pay any money, and I still got a lot of levels. That's all it was. I, I didn't pay any money, and I leveled things up. You do have to level up items. If you don't, you will be at a disadvantage, but you get a lot for free. So, regardless, Pokemon Unite, not play to win. Stop listening to YouTubers and screen men. Listen to me, okay? Just, I'm the... Come to me first, ask me a question, and I'll set you straight. Didn't you get carried to Masters? No. No. I mean, Void and I played, and we both won games. I wouldn't say I was carried. We duo queued. I got, uh, I played solo today. I did, um, I got six wins in a row later. Good interview today, uh, good read. Thank you. I'm glad you guys liked it. Yeah. I was surprised that Captain Flowers and Dash responded to it. I was like, okay, sick, but... Refill the water bottle? Yeah, it's mag low. You see this? Yeah. I'll have a root. I think I've been good today. I'll have a root. My, I just don't want my head to kill me, you know? It's fine. Water bottles all spit. What do you mean? I'm spitting in it? Okay. You guys are gross. Coney, why does it say last stream? Because it's the last stream before I leave for Vegas. It's your last chance to see me before I leave. That'd be a really funny stream bit. If I had a way to refill this water, and like it looks like it's low, and I don't get up and leave, and the next time it's up, it's full again. Just seeing if anybody catches it. That might be kind of funny. I could fill it if I peed in it, but I think that would cause other problems. Pee in the bottle. Yeah, okay, everybody had the same idea. I'm glad we all... Yep, there it is. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. Yep, yep. We're all... Same wavelength. I'm there with you. Yeah, I could just get two of the same bottle. That's true. Literally the same thing. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, you guys want to see something gross? Hold on. You guys ready? <laughs> I just ready. <laughs> I got this at the dentist today. They gave me teeth. <laughs> I don't know why. I got teeth molds done. But I don't know why she gave them to me. Before I left, they were like... Oh, yeah, take these. And I'm like, what do I do with them? And she was like, oh, you keep them. And I should have asked why, but I didn't feel like asking two questions. So now I have a mold of my teeth. <laughs> what the fuck? For what purpose? Thank you, C-Rate. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with teeth? Raffle them? <laughs> I'll give I'll give one sub the top half and one sub the bottom half. Vampire canines? Are they? Here we go. 
Do I have sharp canines? Chicks with no BJ oh my God, experience kind of. be like bang and gang, ang and gang. <laughs> okay, okay. Kind of, I guess. Like you're here. Oh God, yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Cut out your jugular. Ah, ah. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's time to get started. But before we do, you know what time it is. We do it every stream. I never forget. Word of the day is celerity. 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 And I do know what it means. I forget, though. I think it... Is it, like, lucidity? I think it's, like, clearness. It's, it's like... It's, like, total clearness and, um... Transparency. No. Celerity. Literally, totally wrong. Okay. It's being fast. Close. Close. See, that's why we do word of the day. Because I don't want to be stupid in front of an audience. I don't want people to make fun of me. Okay. So we're going to watch two movies. And then we're going to do a core bounty. And then we're going to finish Solitary. Jam pack stream tonight. Nice panda hat. Thank you. You can pick it on up for yourself at the panda shop. Shop.panda.gg, I think. Or panda.gg slash shop. I don't know. One of those two. Okay. Um, my volume was on mute. What was up with the teeth? I went to the dentist today and they gave me a mold of my teeth for no reason. Unexplained. She said, here's your teeth. I don't know what it's for. But, you know. We'll see. You have pretty teeth? I know they didn't say that. He's a dentist. He sees much prettier teeth than mine. Okay. Let's start off. We got two movies. Okay. First one's kind of short. Let me see, 20 minutes. Second one is 13. Maybe we'll do another one on this guy's channel. I've never seen this guy's channel, but I see it pop up every once in a while. Okay. <laughs> okay. Triple movie? Maybe. I might do it. I'm liable to do some reactioning. Liable to watch the movies, you know? This one's for the YouTubers, Okay. Just know that going in. It's Smash related. Listen, this is for all the little ones, all the younglings on YouTube. Okay? It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Connor raid. Wait, Connor. Oh, it's Connor Reed's pants raid. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, boy. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Dude, I saw, okay, I saw people coming in here, but I thought they were just... I, they spoiled it. They spoiled it. I didn't know it was actually happening. Hi, everybody. All right, maybe we watch the other movie first. I'm glad you guys are all here for the last stream I ever do. Pound it. Pound it, brothers. Give me the pound. Bro fist. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Drop the pound in the chat. Look at that. That's so funny. That's so good. Okay. So we're going to watch some movies today. Uh, I guess I'll switch it up. The first one was Smash related. But there's a movie that hit my recommended today. That I know nothing about. But people have told me that I should watch. You're never going to stream ever again. No. 
Never again. Not after today. You will not see me for, a, for quite a while. Today's the last one. True. Yeah. Thank you, Campbell Toe. I don't like that name. You should change it. Never, ever, ever. No. You should still follow, though, in case I do come back. You should still listen. Don't let me saying that stop you from following the stream. Because if I do come back, you want to be the first to know, right? You need to be notified. That's so important. Oh, everybody, everybody have your can of root? Hmm? The all natural performance beverage to help you and your brain perform at their best? Yes? 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 Yeah, thank you. There he goes, Thor the Scooby King. Yep, there it is. Everybody's got their root. Thank you. Okay. So, uh... Today, a video hit my recommended. And I've seen it hit my recommended a few times. And every time I see it, I'm like, I want to watch that video. And then it goes away, and I forget about it. Do you guys ever do that? I always forget about videos that I want to watch on YouTube that I miss. Um, the best way to not do that is to subscribe to the channel, whatever channel you happen to be on at any given point. Like, if you're on a YouTube channel right now, if you're watching this on a YouTube channel, if you just subscribe to it, then you'll be able to see it in the future. When it, what the fuck is this chant? Is that ninja? Did I'll try just nin- it is ninja. Okay, ninja grumpy. I'll chant. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I think that's Ninja. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, the best way to stay updated is just by subscribing, by clicking below. But there's a video that I've seen a few times hit my recommended, and I haven't seen it. The video has 2.6 million views, and it's called Operation Soda Steel. Apparently, it's based on an old thread on some forum. I don't know. But I really wanted to watch it. So, uh, apparently some of you have seen it. You know, we got 1,600 people in here. I assume that a good number of you have seen a video that's seen 2.6 million. I went to this guy's YouTube and I was like, oh, this is a Boy, Sonic tuber. But why does this one have 2.6 million? Very curious indeed. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm 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 genuinely curious as to why a Sonic Tuber has this many views. So let's take a look. The year was 2008, and on a certain GameFAQ spin-off board, one user had decided to undertake a daring heist. Epitaph Philip, or just Philip for short, posted a thread titled "My Dream Is Becoming a Reality: Operation Soda Steel." He shared some concept art drawing <laughs> MS Paint in order to demonstrate- Okay, I have seen this image some places, but I didn't know what it was from. Why is he- I assume he'll tell me why, but I don't know why he's doing this. The, the soda is like a dollar. The plan. Why does he As need to do this? As you can see, it's a bold design that's elegant in its simplicity. While on the outside you would appear as an ordinary patron just filling mm. up your cup with soda, in reality, the soda had done gone down the tube into a discreet container located in the backpack. And Philip was almost done constructing the first... Well, hold on. I was going to say immediately, this is pretty conspicuous. But if the hose goes up the sleeve, that's pretty good. That actually could work pretty well. The hat might give him away, though. I'd be watching the hell out of this guy. ...they're located in the backpack. And Philip was almost done constructing the first version <laughs> of the device. He shows off the cup with the tube sticking out of the bottom as well as the oh, actual his room container is itself. Dirty. He writes, Check it out. The inner venting tube extends out to become the straw. Genius engineering. Actually, I don't think the vent tube is very necessary at all. But it's a cool idea. I'll give it I up. I tested it it's in the bad. shower and it works pretty well. I ran out of hot glue though, so there were some small leaks. Hopefully I can complete it by tomorrow and take it out for a spin. I might record it. Oh! Taco Bell never know what hit him. Wait, he's stealing from Taco Bell. He wants Baja Blast because you can only get it in the store. 
Dude, okay, now it makes sense. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, if he just wants Coke, you could buy so much Coke for like $6. And then you don't have to engineer this. Okay, if you want Baja Blast, I'll give it up. Many people were quite That's amused fine. by this concept. Some rightfully pointed out that this was a lot of effort just for several dollars. Dude, that's me. I'm Glassface. This is literally me. That was me on the forum. It's fucking soda. Buy it for two bucks. And then I saw how much work and effort. And the fact that it was Baja Blast. I get it. I hope he gets it now. Soda. Now I'm curious. Why can't you just buy soda? It'd be different if somehow you could do this with gasoline or like gold or something. Soda is inexpensive. Dude, I mean, don't get me wrong. Me. The concept and this idea face right here. my balls. However, he explained, it's not about the soda. I probably won't even drink half of it. It's the accomplishment. And it's fun. <laughs> In fact, there was actually another reason why he had no... On forums, there was always a guy that posted that shit constantly. Or he would go like, um... Or do shit, I hated that guy. And now you're all being that guy and I hate all of you. Choice but to pull off a stunt no, like this. You're looking at me. The chat is just, it's just, look that way. Look in the other direction. Look over there, please. Chant the other way. I'm sure you're aware that in 2004, PepsiCo released a Mountain Dew flavor exclusive to Taco Bell restaurants known as Baja Blast. Mm. Sure, nowadays everybody knows that they've had limited run retail releases in stores across the US and Canada. But back in 2008, the only possible way to get Baja Blast was at a Taco Bell location, which needless to say is absolute tyranny of the highest degree. In a way, this could be seen as an act of rebellion against an unjust system. Yeah. I believe you could easily argue that in this scenario, stealing Baja Blast would be the morally correct thing to do. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's like Robin Hood. I don't- but I don't care if he gives it to the poor. I'm fine if he drinks it all, because he's earned it. He's just- he's- he is exploiting the limitations of a broken system. He's- he's- he's Che Guevara, right? These I don't know what Che Guevara did. I just know he's like revolutionary and he was on shirts, I think. John Cena 23 was the first to suggest Baja Blast as the beverage of choice, <laughs> and many others echoed this sentiment. TC better fucking fill it up with Baja Blast. They only sell it at Taco Bell. It'd be so awesome to have a huge <laughs> container of it. Oh, I'll get the Baja Blast. <laughs> in terms of construction, he realized that despite the iconic look seen in the concept art, yeah. a backpack design simply wasn't going to be feasible because of possible gravity-related flow issues. He instead planned to utilize a shoulder strap duffel bag approach. He also began answering but that's questions gonna look from other users. Very conspicuous. When asked about the cup part, he explained that he planned to buy a large drink at the restaurant in order to avoid suspicion. Then he'll switch it out with the rigged cup system when nobody's looking. Ah, Someone asked if he's concerned okay. that it'll look suspicious, just standing at the soda fountain, filling up the same cup for like 10 minutes straight. No, he just keeps going he says back. He will try to go during off hours when it isn't too busy, and that he also yeah. might make multiple trips instead of doing it all at once. Yeah, you just have a really thirsty customer. He's not up there for 10 minutes, but he just goes back for Baja Blast like eight times. You ask for the extra spicy sauce, like the spiciest sauce you could get. How hot is the spiciest sauce? You, ca you probably need to show up with your own sauce. You might need to make a $10 investment with the hottest sauce you can, and then just like act like you can't get enough. You just, you, gallons and gallons of Baja Blast is the only thing to cool it down. User Duct Tape it's Avenger not a bad says, plan. I it's recommend not a you bad pick plan. a time where the restaurant is nearly empty, and a restaurant where the soda machines aren't clearly viewable by the employees. Hard to find, but I can think of a few. <laughs> Could go Thanks, to, a, like, DTA. a mall food court. Very cool. Many people began offering engineering advice. Ty Caro suggests creating an implement <laughs> which could puncture the bottom of a cup instead of bringing in an already rigged up this one. This is a whole think tank. Eventually people realized that the soda falling in from the top of the tank would noisily splash down and make the soda flat, so they brainstormed some alternate designs. Tilted driveway points out that this particular design wouldn't work since the tube at the bottom would create pressure. Yeah, it would overflow. Up. Yeah. Matt Johnson Extreme theorizes that using some kind of ramp could prevent the soda from going flat. Much theory what? crafting and MS painting ensues while people- Ninja? <laughs> Even back then? He drew ninja. Don't post ninja. Stop posting ninja. 
Don't put that was not an invitation to post ninja in the chat. What is he wearing here? Oh, it's a messenger bag. Okay. Yeah, how do you get that to work? We'll wait for an update from Philip. The next day, Jack is going to get mad wet. He's still working on the contraption and he appreciates all the feedback and general enthusiasm. He posts another update the following day discussing his work on the project. However, he decides he needs a better container, as the one he's working with right now isn't airtight around the seal. Mm -hmm. A couple days later, he posts a picture of the new con- Dude, I, I- I- I really feel like the environmental storytelling is off the charts. I love the fact that you can get such little details out of the backgrounds of these images. The guy has a rug on carpet. The bed, I think, is on the floor. Do you guys have your bed on your floor? If so, please invest. It's like $200 at Ikea. You don't have to live like an animal. Dog beds lay on the floor. Have some self-respect, please. But the monsters? You're, if you're on the floor, it's easier for the monsters to get you. They're going to hide in the closet anyway. Just get a bed frame. This is disgusting, by the way. Is this already tainted? Is this, like, already stained, or is this new? Container and tube system. I hate this. And the this. day after that, he posted a pic of the final version. Ultimately, you will he never, ended up removing the vent that was... He will not get away with this. You will never get away with this. This is insane. That tube is too big. Running through the transfer tube since it restricted the flow of liquid too much. Opting for a separate small this is tube foolish. on the top of the container. Abort mission. An appropriately sized bag in Abort order to the mission. It. Moreover, he stated, no guarantees, but I might try it tonight with a friend. Yeah, you need an accomplice. Once again, reiterate This is a two-man job. I'm well aware of doing this for the sole purpose of getting soda is a dumb idea. That's why I'm not only doing it for that reason. It's a fun project and will be a good story to tell. Not to mention it provides entertainment for all of you guys. There was definitely... People this was a Nathan for, a for You episode with returns. Beans. Fucking did it. I'm gonna upload the video now. I'm not gonna spoil any results. Wait, he did it? I filmed it with my shitty digi cam. It's in three separate parts. I'm not gonna edit anything out or anything. Just upload them raw. It's so insane to me. I totally forgot that you... I, I forgot that we lived in a time before you could just, like, take a video with your phone and upload onto the internet. That's so crazy. You could just do that. Now, but back in the day, it had to be like a whole thing. You need a shitty digi cam that'll die in like 10 minutes. Oh yeah, and I should note the filming is really shaky at parts. I felt sort of weird holding a camera recording everything, so at parts I put it down by my side to make it look less obvious. Yes, he explains that he was actually not the one who collected the soda from the machine. He was hanging back recording the video for the internet while he had recruited his friend to wear the contraption and get the Baja Blast. Why did he have to say, my Asian friend? Why why did he qualify it? I think if I watch the video, I'm going to know who's stealing the soda. I don't think we need this clarification. I see the person. I see them holding the bag. About an hour after returning, he posts a mega, <laughs> mega upload, upload containing the raw footage of the event. Oh. Immediately, he is showered with praise from the community. People were very impressed that he actually delivered on this insane premise. I bet it's Even flat I as hell. With some insightful it is flat as hell. It tastes wow. disgusting. This topic is mega awesome. Oh, it's him! So, when someone asks if the employees said anything, he explains that, and I know this is going to be hard to believe, the minimum wage Taco Bell employees didn't really give a shit or pay attention to it. Yeah, at I wouldn't all. think so either. The next morning, he posts an update about the status of the soda. The container is two and a half gallons. So I think it's safe to say we collected about two gallons. Man. As of this morning, it's got a little fizz left, but it's definitely gotten flatter. So this is the part of the video where I should show you the raw footage. Yes, please do! <laughs> but unfortunately, and believe me, it really pains me to say this, I can't. I mean, obviously Mega Upload is down now. What the fuck sadly, do you mean? I Wait, what? Okay, there has to be more. We're seven minutes in. I was going to be furious if I don't get to see this fucking Baja Blast. What's the point of the video? Why would you upload it if it wasn't here? Certain that this raw It'll show up. It'll show up. Does not exist He'll definitely anywhere show up. He absolutely anymore. will show up. I promise you, I was extremely he thorough has in to. my search. It probably don't still leave. does don't exist leave. somewhere on someone's ancient hard drive. 
and I watched it back in the day, so I can 100% promise you it did <laughs> exist, but I can't show you the raw footage I believe of the him. event. I believe him. However, user Navy Greg cut the raw footage down into one short 4 megabyte video, which was also distributed and shared around <laughs> by Philip. And thankfully, this video does still exist. <laughs> the editing is kind of strange. Jack Snyder, the aftermath or Zack Snyder and the cut? Itself, and it deliberately avoids showing the bag man's face. So it's Director's a cut? At times, making it sure is. it fits and his vision. 240p, 4 megabyte glory. Let's see where to start. The cup. Can I have your drink? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm watching a crime being committed. Is this toss? The cup. Extra large taco bell cup. We got beforehand. This funnel in here. What is this editing? Super glued it. You can see it comes out the bottom. <laughs> then add this tube, which then goes through the sleeve of the jacket. This <laughs> dude standing at this machine. Okay, you know what? I'm glad he said it was his Asian friend because I think he's right. I wouldn't have known. With this camera quality, I'd be. What is that guy? Is that a white guy? I'm I'm out of ideas. Thank goodness. He could be anything. Down to the side bag. <laughs> Dude, okay, this is way more suspicious. It's fine if he's just filling it up. You running up to the soda fountain and getting a shot if you're getting the tours in. I think you might get caught. <laughs> That's way worse. Why are you doing... He has to get mad close. They didn't have zooms on cameras back then. It's just whatever you were holding. Oh, man. I can't believe they got away with it after this. <laughs> Which conveniently perfectly fit. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but man, there's some slight. Bring it man, up. I want to do light. this now. I wonder if you could still do this in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like antifreeze. Holy shit. They could have just bought antifreeze. That is a lot of bomb. Would have fooled me. <laughs> I told you. Alright. The container. And there's the fruits of our labor. So, um. That, that's pretty much it. That does look. Proudly that say looks rather tantalizing people, when you put it like that. When you have, like, a whole jug of it in this way, that makes me want to commit a crime. Baja Blast in the confines of my own home. Yeah, that this video is about wow. to make me act Incredible up. Incredible stuff. That looks good. Many people asked him if he planned on uploading his I could definitely just buy that for, like, $10. This is what he had to say about the matter. I'm still considering that. I really want to, because obviously I want to share it with the world. Plus, it's easier to view. But on the other hand, I'm a little <laughs> scared of getting caught. Then again... It would be hard to track me down based on only what I look like. <laughs> it's pretty tame, really. It's hard to imagine someone taking the effort to track me down because I stole like a dollar worth of soda, or what, like $20 even, counting markup. Or it's arguably not even illegal at all, considering there are free refills, and I mean, it's possible that someone well, could even drink that much soda in one sitting if they wanted to. Yeah. So, I it's don't like know. It's like 8,000 do calories think? of soda. Is it too but... far-fetched that anything bad happens to me, slash anyone even cares? This reminds me, a lot of you are probably too young for this, but back in the day, this kind of stuff was everywhere, and uh, I don't know if this still exists, I don't think so, but on 4chan, there were threads daily for coupons for free shit, and they were like free Nintendo Wiis, free cameras, free electronics, whatever, and it was like a fake... Uh, coupon, right? Mouse pads, mouse pads, PSP, right? They had a bunch of that shit, right? So they had a bunch of fake coupons, but everybody in the thread was always like, what if I get caught? <laughs> Am I gonna go to Guantanamo Bay for fake stealing a Nintendo Wii? Am I going to Gitmo? Will I be caned for this? And other people in the thread are like, dude, nobody's gonna care. Just say that you got the coupon from somebody and that it's fake. But everybody else was like, oh my god, I could ruin my life. <laughs> it was so funny. 
I tried a few coupons. They didn't work. But it was a fun time. Never worked for me. But now that I think about it, I'm surprised they don't still exist. I guess in 2021, they can't, right? People took pictures of their receipts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it was such a funny time. Because you would get coupons for fucking everything. There were threads for everything from like a $700 TV to like a free drink at Starbucks. And I had to imagine there was some dude on 4chan that was living off this. Morning, noon, and night. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner provided by the merry men of 4chan.com. But uh, uh, the way some people talked about it made it sound like if you got caught one time, you were thrown in the fucking slammer immediately. Holy shit. Thank you, Slurpus, with the raid. Soon after that, he posted. It was like, I man. decided I am going to put it on YouTube. Because, like, and the reason I bring it up is because, like, dude, if you found out about this guy, if you are even the manager of this store, do you care? Do you even care? Like, come on. I guess you should, because if this guy does it, everybody else will do it, right? That's kind of the problem. Is like, if you say you're okay with this, everybody else is going to engineer a backpack and be able to steal Baja Blast. Better edited version, and a clear disclaimer stating I don't condone stealing. It technically isn't stealing, arguably, and emphasizing the purpose being a fun project. However, due to events that would soon transpire, I would be mad annoyed if this guy kept showing up in my site. The video to I'd be so fucking annoyed by this guy. See, a couple hours after he made that post, someone in the thread noticed that the four megabyte version of the video was already uploaded onto fucking collegehumor.com <laughs> of all places. Looks like I just no got way. ripped off. Yes, some fucking guy called Steve, Steve? just went and re-uploaded it without even asking. With the incorrect title of Operation Baja Blast as well, I might add. Steve, and apparently the jackass content is over stealing. On college humor at a somewhat negative reaction. He should have to reacted it. to Although it. I can't find any of the comments archived. This whole then experience it's high gave Philip second thoughts about uploading the video to YouTube, and ultimately he never did. Thanks a lot, Steve. You fucking prick. Despite this, asshole. apparently the video did receive a fair amount of views on college humor over the years, even inspiring a copycat incident in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube, you can find some guy made a video called Operation Baja Blast 2, where he and his friends perform a similar caper. However, their <laughs> setup involves directly filling empty two-liter bottles. This guy directly cites the That's original smart. video as an inspiration in the description. That's not a so bad idea. It had some fans. However, as the Ooh. College Humor site is now defunct, I was afraid this video would be lost to the sands of time. However, there exists one re-upload of it from some random account in 2016 called re-upped for justice with the description <laughs> i did not create this video i only re-uploaded it here's a direct and description he has the creative commons attribution license so you know he's cleared government can't come after him he's got the license and everything i did not create this video i only re-uploaded it here's a direct 2016. personal message to you specifically the oh. person watching this video to me if you see an internet video you really like and you theoretically might want to watch it again someday yeah you should download it don't just assume it'll be there forever that somebody else will do it anything can be taken down at any time for any reason and the only guarantee you'll ever be able to watch something again is if you literally have it backed up to your hard drive if you don't know is he advocating downloading every video you ever like on the internet <laughs> Okay. How to download YouTube videos. Don't worry. It's simple. Just go to www.google.com and figure it out. Man, what a ride it's been. Thank you that for indulging very and helpful. listening to this tale. Even though I haven't been an active member of the Do community since 2007. I mean, after experiencing <laughs> the, the Halo community? 3 game fuel, it was just impossible to go back to drinking regular piss-flavored default Do. But Baja Blast is pretty good, too. A few years back, they almost made it a permanent flavor. However, in what was easily the most they contentious didn't? election of the year, they, they held Dew Decision 2016, where it narrowly lost out to Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Dude, Pitch Black was fucking disgusting. I have, I have no doubt that this was rigged. No doubt in my mind. This was awful. I loved Pitch Black. Shut the fuck up. This sucks. Pitch Black is awful. Isn't it like Grape? Am I wrong? I think it's the grape version.
Yeah, no, this sucks. No, this is terrible. Baja Black should have won. It's even in this, this thing. Oh, these drivers look so sad. Which I don't know why they have NASCAR drivers. Doesn't even make any sense because Pitch Black fucking sucks compared to Baja True! Black. As clearly evidenced by the fact they already discontinued it as a permanent flavor. So yeah, there's no doubt that okay. election was rigged. Yeah, okay, but don't dude, worry, I'm gang. literally Thanks spoiling the video. Exclusive information leaks to the Do Drinker Discord. We have confirmation that Baja Blast will be returning to store shelves this summer. And it and did. And there will be some new upcoming seasonal flavors such as Baja Flash and Baja. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I don't I don't want a pineapple soda. That's gross. I don't like that. I might try the tropical punch. That's not bad. I don't know how many grams of sugar it will have. Probably 250, but it does look okay. Aha uh -huh, punch and new movie tie-in flavors like Riddler's Brew. <laughs> So in a way, this is considered... Hold on. Seasonal Wait. flavors such as Baja Flash Wait. and Baja Punch. And new movie tie-in flavors like Riddler's Brew. Dude, it's Pitch Black again. They just made Pitch Black. It's grape. They really want you to taste the grape one. It's the same thing. It's the Riddler's trick. <laughs> Riddle me this. <laughs> What, what kind of trick is this, Riddler? It's pitch black again. I bet it's the exact same thing. So I do want to try this it, is considered though. The good ending to this story. It's so funny that Mountain Dew uh, is like the commercial for watching. drink, you know? That was pretty good. That's a pretty good movie. I want to join the Dew community. I kind of want to join this group of uh, merry men and ne'er-do-wells trying to come together for the greater good. I like that. I like tales from the early internet. I need to find more videos like this. Because I was around for some of this. Although I didn't know about this one. <laughs> this is pretty good. Join the do scored? Dude, I wonder if I could do Baja Blast 3. I bet you could still yeah. do it. There's a Taco Bell Sorry, right over customer. there. This is no longer possible. What do you mean? No longer possible? Oh, I did see this. Yeah. So now these freestyle machines. Check this out. Two minutes, to, two refills to enjoy in 58 minutes. They time your drinks. Look at this. Look at this. So you get a cup, right? And then <laughs> two refills in 58 minutes. And then down here is... uh. Yeah, your your drink has a code on it. Yeah, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but hey, that's Coca Cola, not Pepsi. Mountain Dew still might let you get away with it. Pepsi is based. Coke is cringe. I haven't seen one of those Pepsi machines, so you still might make it work. I could probably go to my Taco Bell right now and make it work. My Taco Bell is three minutes that way. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's not a bad idea. Hey, and remember what the video said. If you okay. like this video, drop a like. What? 1984. Okay. Remember what the video said. If you like this video, drop a like and download it onto your computer because you never know when I'll disappear. I could be gone tomorrow and my entire existence off the internet could be wiped. So to prevent that from happening, carry on my memory, download this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. I always wonder that. How hard would it be to just wipe yourself off the internet? I know some people, like, vanish, right? They stop posting, but they just delete everything. Hey, remember, you can download a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the channel. True. That was a pretty good video. Do we have any Cybershell fans? Should I go deeper onto this YouTube, or is it just Sonic stuff? Is he Sonic posting? The game most like a creepypasta? Oh, dude, this might be it. Oh, this is good. Oh, what happened to Tails Got Trolled? Dude, I love Tails Gets Trolled.
I might just need to watch more of these videos. This is sick. What the hell, Archell? An hour and 14 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I like this channel. I'm a fan. I'm surprised he only has 200k though. Probably a lot of people are like me. I bet a lot of people show up and they're like, oh, this video is really funny. And then they click in and they're like, oh, he's a Sonic guy. And then they leave. <laughs> I definitely have a bit, a bit of prejudice when I find out somebody's a Sonic person. Do you guys do that? Seriously, be honest. I really do. If I find out somebody's a Sonic fan, I'm like, Ur. you're either like a furry or you just have bad taste. You know? I don't know. Could be anything. I'll watch more of these videos later. This is pretty good. Sonic fans are used to being laughing stocks. Good. Good. It's what you deserve. I shouldn't have put that on you. You didn't say that you were... Oh, wait. No, you did Pepe said. No, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Watch the Final Fantasy VII video. It's internet history. Is it? This one here? This is called an internet hero. Maybe one more? We'll watch one more. We'll watch one more. We'll watch one more, and then we'll go on to the next thing. I, I, I only have one of these videos planned for tonight, but you know what? Watch the Mujin video? Well, hold on. Is it this one or the Mujin video? The game most like a creepypasta. Both? I mean, we'll watch both at some point. I think I'll do FF7 now. We'll do we'll do Mujin another night. We'll do that one another night, because this one got recommended first. Yeah, FF7 has three times as many views. I mean, that's, that's just... That's Mujin. Mujin, unfortunately, doesn't get the views. Just go to my channel. You'll see. You may have heard okay, of this. Okay, okay. Let's watch this one. ...story before... There were articles written about it by a bunch of different websites, yeah. including Kotaku and The New Yorker. Watch this one a man reached. What's the... Damn, he tipped 10? I might need to. What's this one? What happened? I don't like what happened. I like the series on my own, but I don't think it's good for reactioning. I think it's a good series. I like the guy that makes it. But... I feel like it's not a good reaction thing to watch. You know what I mean? Because, like, I feel like the best reactioning stuff is just, like, straight facts. Not just, like, not, like, editorial. You know what I mean? Which is level 99 in the very but the guy's first a good area creator, of Final Fantasy you know? VII. I watched his Clay Fighter one. I liked it. By grinding for hundreds of hours. But why? For what purpose? Okay, okay, here we go. You may have heard of this story before. There were articles written about it by a bunch of different websites, including Kotaku and The New Yorker. A man reaches level 99 in the very first area of Final Fantasy VII by grinding for hundreds of hours. But why? For what purpose? What Is there anything to fight there? Thing? Well, I actually had the privilege yeah, of watching you. this saga unfold, and the scant few paragraphs these articles contain don't really do it justice. So I'm going to relate to you. I'll refund you, but please do not donate really just to get your message read. This story begins on a private GameFAQ spin off. I don't want to make that a precedent. The name's not important. Let's just call it Blue Links. I should probably mention that as a mutant offspring of Game Fact, there's still a lot of leftover Web 1.0 DNA in the site's design, resulting in some irregularities compared to quote-unquote normal forums, like they call threads topics and avatars are aligned to the right side of the post. Just addressing that now so there won't be any Dude, confusion later on. I miss when video games had cheat codes. God. Just looking at this. I feel it. I feel this in my heart. I really do. This lights my heart ablaze. I'm so fucking old. Best of 2008. <laughs> Thank you, E. Compton. Thank you. <laughs> refund these nuts. Thank you. I will refund. Okay, I'll refund that 25. Thank you, E. Compton. Why do you have to flex like that? He didn't have to. Dude, I... You know what it is for me? It's the it's the Firefox. I don't know about you guys. Firefox is like a 2008 browser. 
I haven't used that in 10 years. Firefox is nostalgic, which is so sad for Mozilla. They're still trying. But I've been on Chrome forever. And everybody's like, oh, it's not private. Chrome Google's collecting your data. I'm like, fuck yeah, but browser go fast. Browser go... Collect my data. What are they going to use that on? Huh? When is my data going to be used against me? And now is when you clip this, you download the clip, and then when I get revealed for illicit dealings in three years, you can play this over the sound of that, the, the uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm song. When will I ever get exposed? There you go. I just gave it to you. Similarities compared to quote unquote normal forums, like they call threads topics and avatars are aligned to the right side of the post. Just addressing that now so there won't be any confusion later on. It all started on September 18th, 2012. A user going by the name Dicktree posted a thread with the title, In this topic I get Cloud and Barrett to level 99 in the first Dick reactor Tree? in Final Fantasy VII. It was a bold claim, and attracted a fair amount of attention. Many users expressed skepticism he'd be able to complete such a Herculean task. I would. You see, in this part of the game, the party receives roughly 80 experience points per battle, and the total amount of experience what needed for Cloud fuck? to reach level 99. He has 8k health? What the fuck? Is 2,452,783. Huh? Even with characters strong enough to kill the enemy in one hit, each battle still takes between 30 to 60 seconds each. Yeah. So doing some calculations, we can estimate that reaching level 99 will take a very fucking long time. Yeah. Obviously, you don't have to give the game your full attention. You can watch TV or listen to a podcast or something to make the grind a bit but more But you're bearable. still mashing X. But it does require some degree of attentiveness and input. If you fall asleep during a battle or do something stupid like accidentally target one of your player characters with an attack, you can lose hours of progress. This wasn't the first time people had seen a challenge like this. Several people in the thread were familiar with the level 100 on Destiny Island's challenge. I did Kingdom know the Hearts. Destiny Island one. Indeed, other I did people know the have Kingdom actually Hearts completed one. Yeah. this very challenge before, including someone on the Final Fantasy VII board on GameFAQs, proving it was possible. It just takes an insane amount of grinding. Many references were made to the infamous grindmaster El Alilio while people. Fuck! Oh man! This dude! Oh man, that's my fucking boy! That's my fucking boy! The legendary gamer! Oh dude, Alleluia? Was that it? I'm so fucking old. People tried to figure out exactly how long it would take. Oh, but Dick Tree was completely confident in his ability to finish the challenge, even offering to bet his I love Okay, this YouTube this is my YouTuber. Cybershell is my YouTuber. This is my fucking guy. Yulalalalia? I think that's his name? I don't know. ...to complete it. He Man. even claimed that he'd done it before. The early Thanks, days Brightburg. of the thread were quite productive. Dick Tree was making rapid progress through the early levels. Hey, listen. You don't donate to get me to read your message. The best way to get me to read your message is to subscribe, because I have to read it. Otherwise, you could report me. That's to be expected. Remember to subscribe. Updates were frequent, and with Prime, although you can some do were it for skeptical free. or mocked his efforts as pointless. A large portion of the comments were supportive and cheering him Oh, on. I do. I definitely do. Two days do. after he starts, both characters are at level 30. Four days after that, they reach level 40. <laughs> what the fuck? Things start to slow down a bit as he doesn't have quite as much time to grind. But a couple of weeks later, he posts that Thank Cloud you, is at level 46. Thank you, I only have to say it once. Then, Those are gifts. two and a half months go by with no word from Dick Tree. Before he suddenly shows up again, claiming he no longer has his PS1, but he will be getting it back in a week. No explanation as to why he doesn't have it, but he does promise that he will return to grinding as soon as he gets it back on the 7th <laughs> why of January. He, have it? he was around this time the thread took a noticeable turn, with Dick Tree becoming more and more antagonistic towards the readers. He threatens to complete the challenge, yet withhold evidence of it, then recants saying he was just joking. On the 9th of January, he says he'll be starting up the grind again later that night or the next day. Yars? Two months go by without any That's further an updates, unfortunate type until suddenly he posts this picture without any words. He eventually posts a screenshot showing he's reached level Bro. Until suddenly he posts this picture without any words. What is up with these gamers' rooms? What is happening? What the fuck? Is this a fridge? A bright red friend mystery stand in the back? What is that for? I mean, I think it's for the guitar, but that already has a stand. Does he own two guitars? 
This bright red <laughs> mini fridge is killing me. It's like a fucking diner. He eventually posts a screenshot showing he's reached level 50. He laughs at all the impatient nerds who've been following the thread and boldly proclaims his next update will be a screenshot showing both characters at level 60. Why is 16. he so antagonistic? He's After so mean. After seven months of silence, we get the message, no more levels to grind, without <laughs> any further elaboration. A month after that, he posts, maybe I'll start over, and then a picture of a new setup. After a long period of dorm- Chat. Posts, maybe I'll start- Chat, chat, you're my, you're my eyes. What flag is that? Look it up, what flag is that? North Korea? Where the fuck is he? Is he in jail? There's the same stand. I don't know where the fridge went, but he looks like he's in a cell. Start over, and then a picture of a new setup. After what a long fuck? period of dormancy, some people were starting Thank to show interest off. in the thread again. Four and a half months later, we get the next actual update. Just a picture of him grinding in the reactor, and soon after that, proof that Clad was level 52. People were a little skeptical that Dick Tree was going to stick around long enough okay. to finish. And Dick Tree Why? himself, even Kim amidst Jong due to his schedule, he won't be able to get one. I guess, I, maybe. Right at the same rate he was going at before. I bet the PS1 confident. was, like, probably more powerful than anything in North Korea at the time. The PS1 was probably, like, a marvel of technological innovation. And Kim Jong-un just hit him up, you know? But during the summer, he got the, the free time needed to complete the challenge. For the next couple weeks, progress was slow but steady, and updates were fairly frequent. On April 17th, 2014, he posted this photograph showing he was up to level 55. How do I know he that's him? He also stuck around to talk to Their people names to discuss Dick his Trump. plans. He asked for help to figure out approximately how many hours were left, how much time per week he should dedicate to grinding. 20 hours per week would be ideal. That's half of a full-time job. Pressing X. For almost half a year. And what he plans to do to kill time while grinding. That's five months of pressing X. The next day, he made the following post. I told my girlfriend this morning that I... I miss when people would do this shit for free. Dude, Rubber Ross literally just ate, like, 128,000 eggs in Final Fantasy XIV, right? He bought a voice thing to say egg so he wouldn't get carpal tunnel. Did you guys see that? He just finished it. And he made a lot of money. This guy's missing out on a bag. If this guy existed like 10 years later. Dude. Not even 10. Look at this. 2014. This was 2014? This is when I was playing PM? I thought this was longer than that. Born too early for the bag. Apparently not. 2014, you could have made money on that. This guy does not have the charisma to be a streamer. Have you seen speedrunners? It's not a requirement. It helps. It certainly helps. But it is not a requirement. I can't go to her family's Easter celebration thing out of town. People like I Simply? Well, off. Simply has the charisma. That's what I'm saying. He has the bonus. I have work and I plan on grinding at least 10 hours. Nine months pass by without any posts from Dick Tree. People occasionally bump the thread, some keeping it alive on the hope he'll return, others just to curse him for failing to complete his sacred oath. On January 14th, 2015, Alalilia happened to be doing some Alalilia. grinding in FF7 oh, in Junon, and someone decided to post about it as it was semi-relevant news. The next day, Dick Tree posts making a glib joke about how he's secretly Alalilia. Needless to say, people were not thrilled. The thread lit up with activity again for a short while, what the fuck? most of it posts telling Dick Tree to go fuck himself one way or another. Just two days later, one of these posts was by a man who goes by the username Circle Master. A man who was simply too cool to use an avatar. And this fateful post read, What? Fuck Dick Tree. I should do this. I watched hundreds of episodes of The Simpsons and played hundreds of Super Nintendo no ROMs. No way. I could knock this out. And two days after that, he posted this image along with the message, Get fucked, Dick Tree. You might be wondering, why is the image so big? You see, that's just one of the many differences between Circle Master and Dick Tree. The man is confident enough to provide the image in the maximum resolution possible. I'm talking about the raw data straight from the camera. None of this pussy ass reducing the image for the convenience of the readers bullshit. So they're gonna do it just based off of just pure spite. 
Just hatred for this guy. That's what this is. Man. You're going to take that horizontal scroll bar and you're going to like it. If you want to resize Hatred the image, is a powerful motivator. Anyways, the very next day, he posted another picture showing that he's already reached level 20. The day after that, he's at 25. What the fuck? The next day, he's at 30. Then 33. How is he doing this so fast? Two more days, and he's at level 38. He was making rapid progress, grinding yeah. for hours every single day. By the end of the month, he'd reached level 41. Obviously, he couldn't keep this pace up forever, so no. things slowed down a little bit. But he's still making regular updates and leveling every few days. By February 5th, he was already at level 43. Do you 43. even play the rest of the That's game at Dick this Tree point? decided to stop by and leave a post. Hmm, this challenger is interesting. Soon after, he posted Did this stop by... you guys see the by... immediate... People hate Dick Tree. Dick Tree is the, the villain of the internet. Everybody wants him gone instantly. This was not even a minute after he posted. Not even a minute passed. Get the fuck out of here. Leave the board. Oh, man. That's funny. I leave a post. Hmm, this challenger is interesting. Soon after, he posted this picture of his Get TV showing off the of grind here. spot in the reactor and proceeds to make... Bro, hold on. He had a glow up. Dude, is this dick tree after the time skip? Oh, man. This is art. He's even still got the box right here, but everything around him has changed up. He's got a chessboard. Because he's playing mind games, got big ass speakers, got a record player, more chess. Hold on, guys, <laughs> my cam's in the way. Guys, he has two chesses. There's another chess down here. Three? Is that the box for the board or a third chess? He has so many fucking chesses, you guys. Master of games. So this picture of his TV showing off the grind spot in the reactor and proceeds to make several posts asking how he can spot. stream off his PS1. He says that if someone buys him a capture card, he'll finish the challenge. <laughs> the next day, Circle Master posts another update. He's a level Somebody 44. please buy me a he card! He's gonna Twitch beat channel, it! And he seems open to it. He also makes the following remarks. Dick Tree should have stayed out of this topic, because he cannot <laughs> win. Either I get to level 99 first and beat him in his own topic, or I successfully goad him into finishing despite his trolling. For the record, either way, I'm staying the course and reaching level 99. Dude, these are this is like proto small ant. This is so funny. These are just like proto small ants, just creating challenges for themselves and seeing it all the way through. Yeah, Good so for them. Sure, because of this post, they but, could uh, be astronauts, but they play video games. Five months. By the 25th, Circle Master was at level 48. Man, it was a mild panic when he didn't update the thread for about a week and a half. People there were prone to abandonment issues, as you might be able to imagine. But he came back and reassured people he was just busy with real life stuff. By March 11th, the characters were at level 50. Who's gonna win? Wow, level 50. That means he's like halfway there, right? Yeah. Wrong. That is not how levels work in JRPGs. Oh, it's exponential. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. amount of experience needed to reach level 55, the highest confirmed level we ever saw from Dick Tree. Cloud needs 399,245 experience to reach oh, level 55. No. As we stated earlier, for reach level 99, you need 2,452,783. So this motherfucker only got 16% of the way there. Oh my god. Common meme people would post in the thread of these stairs used to visualize how much more <laughs> XP was really needed to finish the challenge. And this is where things started to slow down a little bit, both due to Circle Master becoming. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's here. He's at 50. He's here. Remember this. He did finish the challenge. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And this is where things started to slow down a little bit. Both due to Circle Master becoming... How can anyone do this? Life. This is why I didn't speedrun, by the way. This is how I see speedrunners. Vince had to beg me to play Mario 64. He begged me, and I said I'm not doing it, and I'm glad that I did, because it was fun. But Jesus fucking Christ, what and are you doing? It takes an extremely long amount of time between levels Insane. at this point. The next update was on the 27th. He begged me! 52. This is also where the time counter maxed out, so we don't know exactly how long it's taking in between each level, but you can sort of go off the guild counter for a rough idea. A month later, on April 29th, he's at level 57. During a day off in May, he grinds all the way up to 58. 
And around this time he's pretty busy with work stuff, but he does do a good stretch of grinding in June, going from level 61 on the 5th to You'd level 65 on the 13th. You'd probably get even better with Switch now. He mentions that it's nearly right? 9 hours it's of grinding and there's level a speed at this up, point. But I guess that's cheating. It was in this post where he begins to seriously consider nine the idea of starting a of grinding level. stream. And soon after he actually does decide to go through with it and begins streaming occasionally at twitch.tv slash circlemaster. He also finally decides that he's going to start his own thread, rather than continuing the challenge in Dick Tree's old thread. Oh no. You see, on this message board, threads have a post limit of 5,000, after which they automatically lock. Having a thread you made hit 5,000 posts was considered somewhat desirable. It's something of a status symbol. I mean, you know how forum culture is. So this is basically just a way to stick it to Dick Tree and deny him his 5,000 post thread. So everyone moved over to... Do you guys know how forum culture is? I don't think you do. I don't think you guys do. I was on two forums. Regularly. I was on two- Don't people leave. Come on. Actually, three. I was on three forums in my childhood. Regularly. D you didn't even spell it right. That's the wrong stream. Hold on, let me see if he's... I, I feel like I might be giving it away. Oh, he do he doesn't exist anymore. Damn. I was going to say, at the end, I wanted to be like, and that streamer was Point Crow. <laughs> Circle Master is like a big name now, but I don't find him on Twitch. But maybe he is. Circle Master's new identically titled Were you on something awful? No. On as usual. I was on a site that was like something awful, but was different. It was like smaller and a more tight-knit community. Jewel. So it was By sort the end of July, similar, he was at level 68. By mid-September, he was up to 71. He would infrequently try out streaming during this time period. He often only had time to grind once a week or a couple of weeks. But when he had a grinding he session, he went days hard. Ago? That's not many the same hours person, at a time. Silly. Oh, wait, it is. Huh? Oh, shit. All right, with that stupidity out of the way, the next stupidity... Don't leave. Don't leave. Guys, don't leave. October, it's not the same guy. It's not the same guy. It's not the same guy. Don't leave. It's not the same guy. That's a different guy. That's a different guy. Don't watch him. And that lasted 23 hours straight. Stay here. He was able to reach level 73. That's a and different then, guy. A few days later, he did it again. The absolute fucking madman. All right, hold on. Three. Go back. In October, he had a grind of weeks. But when he had a grinding session, he went hard. Many hours at a time. In October, he had a grind session that lasted 23 hours straight. What the fuck? Been awake for 26 hours at this point. Had to push through a wall there, but the grind goes on. 29 hours now, grinding for 18. 23 hours of grind, been up 34 hours straight. What could possibly motivate you? What on God's earth motivate? It's just spite. It is spite. Hatred. Searing white, burning hatred. Is all that can ha But this guy didn't even do anything bad. Like. And he's able to reach level 73. And then. Why does sissy piss push the boulder? That's not how you say it. Just a few days later, he did it again. And now I'm mad because I that I'm literally going to say it like that every time. I'm actually going to say that every time. And I'm. <laughs> you <t> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. The absolute fucking madman <laughs> getting all the way up to level oh. 76. That might seem insane, because, you know, it is. But as he explained, it's hard to see tangible, visible progress without dedicating so an extended now. period of time to grinding. At over 12 hours per level, if he does just an hour a day, that's almost two weeks between levels. The grind continues slowly but surely over the following months. He reaches level 79 by November so 10th, and he continues to post progress reports in December, January, and March. By June 16th, He's all the way up to level 88. Man! Unfortunately, around this time is when Circle Master begins having some medical issues. His arm was injured, so he was forced to do the grinding one-handed for a prolonged period of time. Well, So I while mean, progress was slowed significantly due to this injury, Circle Master How always so? kept the thread informed of what was going on. It was also around this time when Dick Tree decided to show up in the thread. Oh no! Return of the villain! Today, <laughs> Grandpa got out of the care center. She's in the hospital with another infection. Nice excuse. Dick Tree, you son of a bitch. This fucking shithead. You're probably a liberal. Dick Tree! You're gonna get your comeuppance one day. 
God damn you, dick tree! Oh, man. Dick Tree was a troll on the internet when trolling meant something. Dick Tree is he's out for blood for no reason. God. The fact that the battleground is Final Fantasy 7 speed. <laughs> Trying to get the level 99. Like, like in another era, they this would have been pistols at dawn, right? Ten paces turn around fire. In, you know, in the old days, they would have slapped each other with a leather glove and, and we would have seen the end of it. But no, they're just arguing anonymously on an internet forum and trying to grind Barrett and Cloud to 99. What a world we live in. And had an embarrassing meltdown where he mocked Circle And yeah, wait, this is eight years into the feud. This started in 2008. What the fuck? This is nearly a decade. Dick Tree has to be an internet personality now, right? Dick Tree has to exist somewhere. Yeah. Kony, you dummy, it was only five years ago. That's bizarre. The fact that this was only five years... 2016? Master sick grandmother pretended he already completed the challenge and accused people who insulted him of being liberals. He claims that he's already completed the challenge and offers to sell his memory card as proof. Then he claims he already did it and posted evidence to 4chan and reddit oh, years no. ago because people in his thread weren't being nice enough. Guys, I don't use the term meltdown lightly. This was a fucking <laughs> embarrassment. I mean, this was truly a self-humiliation for the ages. Nevertheless, by September 1st, Circle Master Those has reached level 89, just 10 levels away from his goal. Unfortunately, his arm and shoulder problems persisted, so he continued to grind one-handed while trying to deal with chronic pain and limited mobility, as well as dealing with a bureaucratic nightmare of trying to get on workers' comp. By the end of the month, he was at level Workman's 90. Workman's comp? By the end of October, he was at 92. Progress slowed down a bit again, taking until January 3rd. He's, look at that, 99.59. That's crazy. ...in 2017 to reach level 93. Fuck. By February 6th, he's at You're level You're supposed to beat the game by that point. ...four and is still trying to schedule his shoulder surgery. 20 days later, and he's up to it level 96. Hours ago? It feels Man. like the end is finally in sight. On March 10th, he posts an update showing he's at level 97, and soon after, he finally has his surgery and takes some time off to recover. You know what's crazy? You could just Photoshop this. I I could have just done this and lied. And then I would have won. He's streaming? I don't care. I would have done it the day before. Just like when I see him at level 98, I would just post an image of like, Oh, I did it already. Yeah, I've been working in secret. None of you know who I am. I actually joined this forum years ago, but I've been lurking. Yeah, I did it. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> but by March 31st, he had arrived at level 98. The people would believe level. me. Some people would believe Needless me. Needless to say, people in the thread were getting hyped. He began streaming more regularly the closer he got to level 99 <laughs> as people became more interested in tuning in. Then... On April 7th, 2017, it finally happened. Circle Master started what would be his final grinding session in Final Fantasy VII and started streaming it. Normally only a handful of people would tune in, but this time dozens and dozens of people were watching live. <laughs> Nearly half a decade after Dick Tree's original thread and the promise was about to be fulfilled before Dude. our very eyes. And I was one of those people watching. Nine fact, years for like 60 viewers. Lad to give me a shout out. Man. Yeah, Cybershell has done some good stuff. Dozens. Just for reference, you should check out his YouTube channel, etc., etc. <laughs> After waiting for so long, the He's blessed so moment tired. had finally arrived. He's so tired. And it was more glorious than I could have possibly imagined. Because this isn't just about me, this is about everybody who followed Dig Tree and were let down by him. This last fight is for all of us. What if he loses? I know I wouldn't be here without your support. What if he I loses the fight? Truly appreciate. What if they're really strong? Every positive message I've gotten. <laughs> oh my god. This is for all of us, and if I had to do it all over again, if something were to happen, and I had to do this over again, I would. Would you? I would do it in a heartbeat. You I would, would start right. No, I couldn't start right now because of my shoulder. I would start again tomorrow. <laughs> But here we go. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit the circle button. What the fuck?
and we're gonna get that glorious Is half a second. What if it breaks down? Where it says level up. What if it up? crashes? I want us all to savor that moment. I want us to savor that level up. Because it's the last one. The last one we will ever see. So brace yourselves. I'm going to hit it. Yes! And there it is. And Let's go! This whole video for that pop-off. For that one level up. In this Twitch, I have gotten <sighs> Cloud and Barrett to level 99. Well, that's dick and In tree. the first reactor in Final Fantasy VII. Why? And, and? In the first reactor in Final Fantasy VII. And one potion. Just listen to the man's wild, uncontrollable pop. How many potions do you think he has? Actually. 99? <laughs> Good answer. No, that's true. It's 99. All in all, he estimates it took him about 525 hours to complete. Man. And that's pretty <clears throat> much the end of the story. Tons of people stopped by to congratulate him, and his accomplishment even attracted the attention of the internet at accomplishment? large. And to this day, he's still word. at it, just for the love of the grind, working on getting Zidane to level 99 in the Evil Forest in Final Fantasy IX. Why? That you got Somebody's got to intervene. No, at this point, you gotta be like, listen. No, guys. We gotta stop here. You know, this. you did it once. This isn't healthy. Okay? There are worse addictions? Name one. <laughs> That's too easy. Name two. Thank you, Sapiani, for the prime. He continues to stream occasionally and post LP videos to his YouTube channel. Good for him. I'll have a link to all his stuff in the description. Funny enough, after all this time, Dick Tree's original thread was still active. A few bumps a year was enough to prevent it from becoming archived. Poor Dick Tree. And then yet someone asked him if he had any thoughts about Circle Master completing the feat he originally set out to do. All he had to say was, You did a good job, but I did it first. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I can properly explain to you oh. the degree this man was completely and utterly blown the fuck out in oh, every conceivable no. way Dick possible. Tree. I mean, if you think Dick Tree can even post anymore without people going, Hey, aren't you that guy who couldn't even get Cloud and Bear to level 99? Oh, dude, first? this is like perfect legend. There are moments in a career sometimes where somebody is just like, their, their soul is extracted from their body. Reactor. Man. What a loser. Poor His hosting Dick career is in ruins, and I think it's safe to say he will never, ever recover from a public humiliation of this <laughs> magnitude. But Dick Tree never had a face or identity associated with him. He can always recover. He could be someone else. <laughs> it should be mentioned that this it's topic did eventually archive soon afterwards, without ever hitting 5,000 posts. Where Circle Master was able to get two 5,000 post threads <laughs> out of the ordeal. Nowadays, people throw around the Beast. word hero to the point where it feels like it's lost all meaning. Yeah, maybe I'm Dick Tree. You'll never know. To save some dumb kids Liberals. and suddenly he's a hero? Please stop devaluing this word and save it for only truly heroic acts of courage. I can honestly say without a doubt in my mind that Circle Master has entered the pantheon of American heroes. <laughs> what the fuck? I prepared a mind save it for only dumb kids and suddenly Hold on. he's a hero? What was the Please uh stop devaluing this word and save it for only truly heroic acts? How of much courage. money did he have? I can honestly say Dude. Fuck. One million gil. Without a doubt in my Pay mind, out. Circle Master has entered the pantheon of American heroes. I prepared a musical tribute to end this video. Circle developed a split personality when he was grinding, he went mad. <laughs> On some father, like Father Gascoigne shit, they could consumed him. Video, but I feel like the best way to close it out is with a quote from Circle Master himself. This is from January twenty eighth, twenty fifteen. He was joking. Yeah, he was joking. Just eleven days after starting Definitely his joking. grind. Life does not have inherent meaning. To say that our lives are pointless <laughs> and our achievements meaningless is to state the obvious. No matter how grand our achievements or how broad their scope, time turns all to dust and death destroys all memory. But that does not mean we cannot ascribe our own meaning to what we do. It's because nothing has meaning unto itself that we are free to create meaning, to make metaphor, and in doing so, to reflect on ourselves and our world. I'll drop a true Leveling to 99 in the first reactor is pointless and meaningless. 
So why do I do it? I do it to express my hatred. <laughs> it is hate! My disdain for it's Dick spite! Trump. I do it to express the camaraderie I feel for those of us it who have really followed this topic is. for years, only to be disappointed by it. I do it to prove to myself that I can persevere. The act is meaningless. I give it meaning. Holy shit. Make a difference. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> this was a Stan Lee tribute video the whole time? The whole time it was for Stan Lee? <laughs> oh, man. That's not when he died. Yeah. <laughs> That's not if when he died. If you want another video about Spike making another man destroy an entire group of people, this video is pretty good. That's not when he died, by the way. What's this? I, Dude, I really like... Uh, I really like Cybershell's videos. I'm going to go ahead and pop it. Ready? Watch. 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 If you're watching on YouTube, if this is on YouTube, do what Coney does. Ready? Go down and hit the button. Bow. Perfect. This guy's great. I like this guy a lot. Sick. What is this? Pretty good episode 10. 22 to 222 to 0? Is this video good too? Please watch. Okay, one more, one more. I had another video lined up, but we're just, we're blazing right through all this. Are we even going to finish Solitary? All right, let's go, let's go. I got to download that video too, yeah. A lot of videos to download tonight. It's now been 100 years since the worst beatdown between grown adults in the history of American sports. There is so much to tell. There's the dog that chased one of the players around the stadium. There's the kicker who caught his own kick for a touchdown. <laughs> There's the player who ended what? the game, took a snap, threw the ball in the air in a state of sheer terror, ran off the field and hid. And of course, there's the score. Wait, that was that was in Little Giants. I don't think that really happened. Somebody got scared. He threw the ball in the air and got scared. <laughs> what? Okay. In 1916, Georgia Tech's football team beat Cumberland College by a score of 200 and two. Oh, sorry. No, they didn't. I forgot one. That did not happen. It's not real. That did not. I will watch this whole thing. Better to have died as a small boy than to fumble this football. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? This is dark! A creepy pasta about sports? I must know how this happened. I'm drawn in. 222 points in a game. Bro, why is it so well produced and then we go to a fucking Logitech C050? This is the worst ca When was this video made? Okay, never mind, my bad. 2016. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Nope. That nope. Nope. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. He's got everything else. He's got the blue Yeti, which means he's a professional. He has the audio dampening. I'll give it up. No, that's fine. Record. It has been 67 years since a team scored even half that many. To do this, Georgia Tech had to score 32 touchdowns in 55. Hold on. Let me turn it up a little bit. You think it has captions? Five minutes. <laughs> Which means it had to score a touchdown every minute 43. What? Now, Come on. Now, it is fair to say that Georgia Tech was a million times better than Cumberland College, but that doesn't explain this. Vast superiority alone explains Secretariat, who won the Belmont by 31 lengths. It explains the 1940 Chicago Bears, who won the NFL championship 73 to nothing. Mm -hmm. It explains the time UConn women's basketball took a 74 to 9 lead on SMU. Those are routes. Yeah, they're blowouts. This was an irrational, malicious act of cruelty that just happened to also technically barely be a sporting event. We have accounts of what happened. How it's do you scorable. Even... We can score it. In the same way we can award a blue ribbon to a supernova. How do you score a game like that? How do you even get that many points on the board in the limited amount of time you're on the field? But first, let's understand where this malice came from. Spike! It's 1915. Okay. Cumberland's team, which used to be good, is now terrible. 
The coach is a reverend from around town who doesn't know the rules and doesn't approve of all the violence, so he makes up new practice drills that are more to his liking. In one drill, he has two guys stand a few feet apart and just lob the ball to each other over and over and over. <laughs> in another drill, he has them Good sit practice. in a circle and close their eyes, and he would place the ball behind one of them, and then they'd have to guess which one had the ball. <laughs> it was like an even worse version of Duck Duck Coos. I don't know. I feel stupid even talking about it. That's a very funny game. I like that game a lot. I might do that. I might steal that for content. Just hide the ball behind somebody and have their team presence try to figure out who it is. That's funny. Unsurprisingly, none of the players came back after that season, and it was up to George Allen, the 20-year-old athletic man. That's some avant-garde coaching. He figured Very that artistic. if the baseball team could get a little bit of buzz, it could sell enough tickets to finance the football Do it in team. Roblox. So he arranged for Cumberland Baseball to beat their opening opponent as badly as they could. The thing is, Cumberland players weren't good enough to do that, so he convinced a minor league baseball team to dress up in Cumberland's uniforms and play as them. It was an entire <laughs> team full of ringers. I couldn't confirm this, but I believe the minor league team in question was the Nashville oh Volunteers, God. half of whom had major league baseball experience. Cumberland destroyed Georgia Tech. This is a Simpsons episode. They were hitting everything. After a while, they got bored and they just started bunting every at bat. And they still scored three more <laughs> runs just by bunting. Georgia Tech baseball was humiliated. And so was their coach. His name was John Heisman. Oh, no! Oh, no! Heisman was a great baseball coach, but he remains one of football's architects. Let's look at a modern day. What have game. you done? The scoreboard shows the down yardage and game clock. That was John Heisman's idea. The quarterback yells, hut. Heisman came up with that. Then the center snaps the ball in the air to the quarterback. Heisman invented that. Then the quarterback throws a forward pass. Heisman invented that too. This quarterback was the best in the nation, so they gave him a trophy called the Heisman Trophy. In showing up John Heisman, Cumberland angered a football god. 1916 rolled around, and oh, Cumberland no longer no. had a football team. Heisman didn't care. Georgia Tech Cumberland was on the football schedule, and Heisman threatened to charge the school $3,000 if they forfeited. That's $66,000 in today's money, and it was more than Cumberland could comfortably afford. He Dude. That is terrifying. The god of football is raining vengeance upon you. What did you do? Why did you have to poke the bear? Why did you have to make him this mad? There's no reason to do it. Could you imagine? Like, imagine, imagine this happened in esports, you know? Just like a Valorant team challenged an, a league team to a Valorant match. They stomped them. And then the league team, like, has Faker on it. Oh, my God. Heisman had another target. Sports writers. Couldn't stand it. Just blow them you the I mean? fuck out. It's not for no reason. Sports writers are useless. Like, we are useless. Heisman took issue with the way sports writers oversimplified. They figured that the more points a team scored, the better that team was. Heisman knew it wasn't as simple as that, so he wanted to rack up as many points on Cumberland as he possibly could oh, no. to show that if you really wanted to and your opponent was bad enough, you could score as much as you wanted. In order to save themselves a crippling amount of debt, Cumberland rounded up a bunch of law students, some of whom didn't even know how to play football. Oh, God. And sent them to play against what may have been the best football team on the planet. It's the afternoon of October 7th. What have they done? Law students? Law students? for the opening kickoff to fall out of the sky. He doesn't move. He looks to his right, where Edwards, the quarterback, makes a block. He turns to his left, where a man listed as George Murphy gets ready to throw another block. This is not actually George Murphy. This is Johnny Dog Nelson, the only ringer George Allen was able to recruit this time around. He's a former player and a sports writer by trade. Here he is reporting on another football team a month from now. Johnny Dog whiffs entirely. Carney still hasn't moved. He's clobbered right where he caught the ball. Oh, God. Edwards, who made the first block, is knocked out cold. Cumberland has lost its quarterback on the first play of the game. Oh, fucking no! What? Oh, no! What do you do from there? He's out instantly? Cumberland gains three yards on its first play from scrimmage. Three four yards? Four times they'll get past the line of scrimmage all Let's day. give it up. Three they yards? They punt on third down, and Tech scores two plays later. Cumberland fumbles on... Wait, they punted on third down? All day. They choose to punt on third down... Punting on third down? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I need to get rid of this ball. 
Get rid of the ball right now. I can't hold this. And Tech scores two plays. Get later. this shit away from me. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Line of scrimmage all day. They choose to punt on. They punted for ten yards. I didn't notice that. <laughs> they punted. They kicked the ball thirty feet. I think I can kick further than that. They punted less than it was returned. On third down, and Tech scores two plays later. Okay. Cumberland fumbles on first and ten. Tech scores. Cumberland fumbles on first and ten again. Tech scores again. By the 18th play of the game, Tech is already up 28 to nothing. <laughs> Everything is as it should be. Georgia Tech is a powerhouse. They were in the middle of a 33-game undefeated fuck? streak that lasted more than four years. Up 28 nothing. Georgia Tech has stopped at the one, but it's not because Cumberland stopped them. The opposite, actually. No. Tech's running back, Strupp Strupper, takes it to the one untouched. The Cumberland players actually get out of his way. <laughs> but then he downs it. What happens next comes from a book about this game called You Dropped It, You Pick It Up by Jim Paul. It is the most complete source on this game I was able to find. Sadly, it's out of print. It explains that another of Tech's running backs, Canty Alexander, had yet to ever score a touchdown, and his teammates like to give him grief about it. A week prior, Tech got to the one and handed Alexander the ball, no and then his way. lineman just moved out of the way and let him get clobbered for three straight downs, <laughs> and then they gave somebody else the ball to score on fourth down. They were gonna do the same thing here. The Tech players just hit the dirt and gave up, but then for some reason, the Cumberland players did too. Maybe they were scared, <laughs> maybe there's some weird animalistic instinct, or maybe they just didn't know Everybody what to do. Just that left down. Alexander as the only man standing on the field, one yard from the goal. This should be the easiest touchdown of Come all on, time. Come on, Alexander! He bobbles the snap, and he inadvertently boots it a couple of times before he finally recovers <laughs> it in the end zone. As a two-team effort, it's probably one of the dumbest plays in the history of football. So I It is an honest-to-God tragedy of the highest magnitude that there is no video footage of this. I don't know. I am so fucking sad I can't watch this happen. That's so funny. They put down the ball and everybody falls down on both teams. And then he starts kicking the ball. <laughs> After the touchdown, Georgia Tech receives the kickoff. Why is there not a movie about this? How is nobody taking this story to the big screen? Yeah. Yeah, Georgia this Tech is a million dollar idea. Kickoff. See, back in the day, if your opponent scored on you, you had the option of kicking or receiving on the ensuing play. I don't know why you would ever do this or Wait, why what? this was an option. Wait, if your opponent scored on you, you could decide to kick or receive? Why is that an option? You always want to receive. What? But it was, and throughout the game, Cumberland chose to kick after being scored on five times. <laughs> Get the, the ball quarter, away from me. 70 to zero. Against all odds, Cumberland actually finds itself a third and one. Coach Allen wants to catch them off guard, and he wants to do this by punting. George a third e. and Allen one? will go on to have an eventful life. He'll serve as a political operative and become close with FDR, Truman, and Eisenhower. They were presidents who had known him. He even wrote a book. It was called Presidents Who Have Known Me. <laughs> but for now, he is a nervous 20-year-old nobody coaching against John Heisman. Oh. He orders his team to punt. But in the huddle, they decide, no, we are absolutely not punting on third and one. True. They line up, Leon McDonald gets the pitch right, and oh, then no. rather than go the one yard for the Die. first down, he panics and punts anyway. <laughs> Bounces out of bounds, 11 yards downfield. Play 45. Morris Gouger fields. I be, I, true. Uh, me too. Me too, bro. Me too, Bo. I would shit my pants. If I'm a law student, I'd get the fucking ball away from me. I'm kicking. Kick and George. Dude, the helmets were not good back then. You could have broken your spine. No. I'm not going against these animals. We're already down 77 to 0. You really think me getting first down is going to change anything? We might get six. Seven if we're really lucky. Fuck that. Georgia Tech special. Did it at least go far? No, it went 11 yards. Team unit somehow overruns him. There's nothing but open field in front of him. He has daylight. Cumberland hasn't even made it to the 50 yard line <gasps> yet. A touchdown would be unthinkable. Morris trips and falls over a teammate at his own 20. His teammate was looking for his glasses. Play 48. Edwards, the quarterback who was knocked out cold. I think this is the script to the Little Giants. I don't think this really happened. I don't think this actually occurred. This was a kid's movie I saw when I was a child. What the fuck? on the first play of the game is sent back in. 
He can't really walk straight. He can't even talk. He is showing obvious concussion-like symptoms. He can't call for the snap. His impatient center snaps it anyway and pops him right in the head. Edwards has now appeared in two plays and has been carried off the field unconscious two times. Imagine giving that guy the pep talk on the sidelines. He's, I can't. Where am I? Listen, champ. You got to go out there and do it for the team. We're only down 84 to nothing. It's only the second quarter. You can do it. Get back out there. Your team's counting on you. And then he just <laughs> stumbles out there on jelly legs. Winnable. Winnable game. Oh, dude. Later, this will also happen a third time. Today, we look on this with horror. Back then, a concussion was treated about as seriously as a Charlie horse. This game has oh entered an God. unbelievably lengthy sequence. Between plays 44 and 82, the line of scrimmage never leaves Cumberland's red zone. For 39 straight plays, about one third <laughs> of the game, the line of scrimmage for both teams is always inside the Cumberland 20. This is absolutely ludicrous. That's and it's insane. also what makes Georgia Tech's total offense all the more impressive. See, Tech only managed 471 offensive yards, which is not a ton. That's because they dominated Cumberland's offense so completely that their own offense just didn't have yeah, enough room to Yeah, they didn't have the, the, the room. Where their offense got the ball. Only a few of these could be considered real drives in the traditional sense. Most of them started inside the 20. They couldn't gain yards because they kept running out of them. There are no Contrast yards to gain. The game Tech played against Vanderbilt in 2016. Just they are ago. really Tech struggling. True. It was a great game for them. Taking into account turnovers, returns, and every other time they touched the ball on a play-by-play -play basis, they picked up 17% of the yards they could possibly get. And remember, that's a one-sided route. The 1916 team picked up 72% of all possible yards. No matter where you drop Georgia Tech on the field, they were highly likely to score immediately on that play. <laughs> It's staggering. I want to watch this so Jim bad. Cruz. I want a time machine so fucking bad. I've never wanted a time machine more than right now. This is the only thing I want to do. If I ever meet a genie, this is what I'm doing instantly. This is Georgia Tech's kicker. And he's bored. All three but wishes. I want to watch this three times. By the time this game is all over, he will have kicked 18 extra points. He bets his teammate a steak dinner that he can kick a ball through <laughs> the uprights on a kickoff. But then he one-ups himself and he turns on the Jets. Morris Gouger, while lining up for the catch, smacks into the goalpost. The ball bounces off his head and into Priest's arms. Jim Priest has just caught his own kickoff for a touchdown. No. There's no fucking way that ever happened. There is no way on God's earth that occurred on this planet. That is a fable. Yeah. That's some Paul Bunyan shit. That's Johnny Appleseed on the field. You can't, you can't physically kick the ball, catch it, and then run it into the, that's Bugs Bunny shit. That definitely did not happen. It's halftime. <laughs> Fuck. Coach Allen's team is physically and emotionally destroyed. Yeah. Cumberland is losing. Call the game. Call the game. If that were a final score today, it would be the worst final score since 1932. Call the game. Allen has no choice. He has to go talk to the man himself. Yeah, apologize. He figures maybe Heisman will agree to end the game at one half. After <laughs> oh, all, Cumberland no. held up their end of the bargain. Oh, no. They showed up. Georgia oh, Tech no. has all its gate receipts. It's true that John Heisman is a disciplined man. In fact, he was famous for telling his teams better to have died a small boy than to fumble this football. But he's also a noble sportsman. Maybe he'll show mercy. Oh. Heisman does agree to shorten the game by five minutes. He is a creator of this game. He is a football god and a god who takes instruction from the god of the Old Testament. He is here to reduce them all to pillars of salt. He is a creator of fear and of you. He will grind your bones to make his bread. <laughs> why five minutes? Of all time, why five minutes? What the fuck is this guy's problem? Skimming five minutes off the end still guarantees Cumberland 25 minutes of horror. <laughs> what the Sometimes fuck? Sometimes a weak expression of pity is the deepest act of cruelty. Yeah. No, that's, that's much worse. That's much worse. 
play 78. Oh. Johnny Dog fields the kick. Oh, no, Johnny. He looks before him. All his teammates have fallen to the ground <laughs> in resignation. He staggers to the 10, and then he joins him. It's like electric football and everything fell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man solidarity god literally die literally die but hey hey you get these football players in a courtroom you might see a different result you know these are lawyers put them in the courtroom and maybe they'd be running shit you know did you ever think of that not after this game. Yeah, I bet all of them dropped out. I bet this ruined several careers. That's a good point. I bet a few of them, like, could not argue for anything. Because all they could think about was this game and being demasculated by the fucking god of football. <laughs> Man. What a fantastic story. That game, definitely isn't true. Twice, he takes the snap There's no way this happened. Johnny Dog, who pitches it back. Demasculated? Is that... Did I make that up? Emasculate. I'm so fucking dumb. I'm gonna go lay down on the field. You knew what I meant. You know what I meant. Emac emasculated. Emasculated. Right? Emasculated. I concussed myself. Neither of them want the ball. No, they keep I will not either. it back and forth, demanding that the other one take it. And the weight of a Georgia Tech tackler crashes oh. down on them both. <laughs> Edwards is carried off the field a third time. <laughs> All right. Uh, brief Poor disclaimer. I'm about to tell you part of the story that I don't think is true. You think the rest of the story is true? You think the rest of this really had? I think this is like the Bible. I don't think, I know I, I, I said this on an earlier stream. Some stories didn't really happen. This is an allegory. This is, I, I think that a lot of this is to, you're supposed to learn something. It's a parable. Uh, it's in the books. So I'm going to tell you about yeah. it. But as the story goes, by now Cumberland is short on willing and able players. At least two players have run away and hid. Two more players have leg injuries. So Coach Allen ties their injured legs together and has them hobble along on the field as one man. No, he didn't. No, he fucking did not. He did not human centipede two people together to count as one player. That did not happen. Dark Souls paused. <laughs> but a really weak one. That's a pinwheel. Just two men put together. That did not happen. I agree with you, John. This definitely did not happen. Madden boss? Play 84. Coach Allen sends in a law student known... I would fucking kill for a Dark Souls Madden game. I don't know what it would look like. That would be fucking amazing. Some game where you play... A, you could pick a class, quarterback, running back, you know, wide receiver, whatever... How would you even make that game? That would be so fucking good. I don't know, but Heisman is Gwyn. Hey, can we watch this next? It is over 100. We're not even done with this one. Smile. Come on. I'm scared to click on links now. You guys are frightening me. Simply as Pee Wee, who is only here to impress his professors. Pee Wee does not know anything about the rules of football. He is ensured that he will not have to touch the ball or actually oh, no. do anything. The Pee -wee, center direct snaps the him ball. the ball. He stumbles around in a state of panic, then flings the ball away in fright. In the ensuing scramble, he runs away. He is now the fourth Cumberland player to try to run out of Grant Field. He hides behind a fence where two other players are hiding. They don't want him to give away their hiding spot, so they throw him back over the fence. There okay. is no escape. Play Just, 86. No, that didn't Johnny happen. Dog is chased around the stadium by an actual dog who has wandered in from the stands. Sure, why not? If you're a regular viewer, you'll probably remember this little what? guy. All I can conclude is that in the early 20th century, wild dogs were everywhere. I guess. Play 94. Georgia Tech scores to make it 100. I, I guess that's why we had to build stadiums. We needed something. <laughs> Stop these fucking dogs from stopping our game constantly. 
Somebody get these dogs out of here. In 73. At least buy a ticket. The point after attempt that follows is poetry. If Cumberland just lets this extra point sail through, the final score ends up being 223 <laughs> to nothing. But they block it, unwittingly ensuring the precision of Heisman's revenge. A 22 nothing baseball loss is answered by a 222 to nothing oh, unholy man. clobbering. I don't know how or why Cumberland finds resolve to fight at this moment, but they do. They execute what's known as the climb the ladder play, which has since been made illegal. One player gets on all fours and grabs the knees of a second player, who bends what? over the waist and grabs the stomach of a third player. A fourth player, Vichy Woods, steps over their backs and shoulders and leaps as high as he can. Die. Die. He's going to die. He is going to die. They. This is like a bring it on cheerleading routine. This man will not survive this. He will not survive. <laughs> Fishy! Fishy, why'd you have to do it? Why'd you have to climb the ladder, Vishy? Why'd you climb the ladder, Vishy? Oh. Negative 33. They didn't... Pass once. They didn't pass one time. <laughs> they, they didn't pass the ball one time. Not happening. Cumberland's football team was immediately dissolved and would not return for four years. Heisman made his players play a 30-minute scrimmage immediately after winning a football game. What? They won the game, and then immediately it's like, okay, that didn't count. He had to immediately play another game. Cumberland's law school was moved and sold to Alabama. Yeah, I guess it did. I don't think any of those lawyers came back. They're all gone. Never bothered to throw the ball despite the fact that their coach invented the forward pass. Man. Oh. Those poor law students. They were never the same after this. They... They were changed forever. Dow Cope? Wait, what? Is that one of the names? <laughs> and that's where we got copium from. That's where we got it. Man. Poor guy. That's a good movie. How does this guy only have 150k subs? This was amazing in 2015. Does he still... Four years ago, four years ago? Okay, he doesn't upload as much, I guess. But still! He works for... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, then. Good for him. He deserves it. God, this is what I'm saying. Smash needs stuff like this. You know what I mean? Like stories about shit. That's good. That's a good movie. It's a very good movie. NBA player shoe falls off chaos reigns. One mil. Good. 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 Man. Good for him. What a good movie. A non-melee doc would be nice. I don't know if you still can now. Yeah, I was going to say now we... Ugh. You know? Okay. We'll watch more of this guy later. Royal, it's funny you link that. That's actually uh that's actually what I got next. That was pretty good. All right. Uh so we we went quite down a rabbit hole. Uh but I'm glad that we did. I like Cybershell. I like John Boys. Um that was fun. That was good. We got to do more of this.
The History of the Seattle Mariners is one of the best sports documentary ever made. I got to I got to find more stuff like this. That was excellent. That was so good. The PM doc will be coming soon. Why does Melee get everything, man? So, uh up next, I had an idea of what I wanted to watch and I'll cut an intro in a second. But there's a video that I saw um a while back. Uh, which is about the worst Smash tournament of all time. Now, it's not the worst Smash tournament, really. It's more of a story of how uh, the Smash tournament persevered despite a lot of bad shit that happened. And that's called The Story of Apex 2015, made by a guy named Turn Down for Walt. This is an excellent movie. It's an hour and 12 minutes. I was going to watch it, and I might watch it another time. An hour and 12 minutes is good. We'll watch it another time, I think. But that's not what we're watching right now. Because I looked at it the and I was February like... The day is February 28th. 20 Spoiler. Because I was looking at it and I was like, that's kind of long. You know, I, I feel like uh, I'll watch it another time. A lot of it is Melee-centric. I do want to watch it. But there's another video, one that EE e. watched already, that I didn't know about. Which is called... The worst Smash Brothers tournament, Olympus 2015. I have not been to this tournament. I went to Apex 2015. I have stories about that. I've been there. But I've heard that this one is really bad. So we're going to watch it. I'm excited for it. I, I, this, is, this is the one for YouTube. This one's for YouTube. You guys got yours. Now we're going to watch this one for YouTube. I have no idea what's in this or who's in this. But I'm curious uh, what's going to happen. How were both of these the worst Smash tournaments? Dude, yeah, 2015 was a bad year. Bad year, truly. 2015 was tough. By the way, yeah, this guy's a NASCAR poster. It's so funny to see these channels and have these videos that are just like, it's NASCAR, 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 Smash Brothers. NASCAR, 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 NASCAR. What? I mean, I'll give it up. Good for him, but the days. It's very funny. So, okay, it'll be a good time. He swapped with a Smash Channel, didn't he? I don't. I don't know, but I have not seen this yet. I know nothing about it. I hadn't even heard of this tournament. I've been going to tournaments forever. I don't know what happened in 2015. So let's go ahead and take a look. Thank you, Chumble. The day is February 28th, 2015, and one of the biggest video game tournaments in the history of South Carolina is about to go straight to hell. What has started off as a landmark day for the Smash Brothers scene in South Carolina will slowly and painfully devolve into embarrassment and misery. Just a few hours into the event, it will become clear that the event staff are in over their heads, and the tourney will fly apart at the seams. Eventually, the inmates will take over the asylum, and the name Olympus will become synonymous with grandiose overpromising and ineptitude in the years to come. So, the first thing I'm thinking of... I'll talk about it later. Never mind. I'll bring it up. Guys, if any of you guys remember a tournament called Clash of the Titans, there was a tournament in Philadelphia that was like a major for Brawl that was supposed to be a big deal. People couldn't get in the building and were chanting money back outside and were like so fucking loud <laughs> that the city had to shut them down. I'll tell you later. But how did this all happen? How did it come to this? And why did it ruin the upstate South Carolina smash scene for years to come? I'll be the judge of this. This is the okay. We're still at 100. Despite its infamy today in the Smash Brothers scene, the very first Olympus esports tournament in 2015 showed no signs of drama in its build-up. In fact, hopes were high for that event. I should know I was heavily involved in running it. So first, a little backstory on me. In 2014, I was asked to help out with a video game tournament at 1UP Games in Greenville, South Carolina, by the guy who owned the store, Brandon Overly. We had been friends since kindergarten, and when he hit me up and offered $50 for the gig, I could hardly say you, no. Mark, you at the time, I was a broke-ass college dropout working two part-time jobs and just barely scraping by. So when I had the opportunity to make 50 bucks at a video game tournament, I jumped at the opportunity. My oh, duties involved PM. managing a section of the bracket of the main double elimination tournament. I'd send players to their correct stations, record the results, and move the bracket along. The show went a little late, I think I clocked nearly 9 hours payout. that day, but making money off of video games was just too fun of a prospect to pass up. When the next tournament came Man, around, I quickly let Brandon hair. know that I was interested Gracious. in working again. 
by the end of the year, I'd gotten so efficient in running brackets. Bro. <laughs> could let Brandon know that I, I wasn't interested in working again. <laughs> the Darth Vader shirt. By the end of the year, I'd gotten so... <laughs> no. No, 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 brothers. Why is he wearing a scarf? I think it's hot out. Everybody else... This dude's in a tank top. That guy's in a scarf. He looks like a member of Gryffindor. What are you doing? So efficient in running brackets that I was now getting paid damn near 100 bucks to run these tournaments. Because Pog? I developed a reputation for getting the shows done on time or ahead of schedule. Esam still does that wave. I don't know why he does that. I don't know why he does this. Like an anime girl. Don't know why he does that. I also didn't need a whole lot of help, so a tournament organizer could hire my services for a reasonable fee, have a few volunteers fill in the gaps in manpower, and just watch the money roll in with venue fees, tournament entry fees. It looks like sessions. Xanadu. That I looks ran like a lot Xanadu. of tournaments in a fairly short period of time and for all sorts of different games. Guilty Gear, Street Fighter V, Marvel vs. Capcom, Call of Duty Black Ops, Halo 3. But the biggest earner by far was Super Smash Bros. True. Made. Released in 2001 on the GameCube, we make the premise the of the game was fairly simple. Take all the characters from Nintendo's intellectual properties and pit them against each other in a fighting game. You could have Pikachu versus Mario, Donkey Kong versus Kirby, or Star Fox versus Bowser. It had a big roster of characters for the time and it was a massive hit upon release. But wait, this is 2014. People were still playing a 13 year old game then? Yeah, and they still do. Yeah, Mainly with a fairly rushed everything. product. The original Smash Brothers had Which been released on the Nintendo 64 audience. in 1999. And in less than two years, the developers had to build a brand new addition to the series for a new console. The result was Smash Brothers Melee, a game that was an absolute masterpiece. And by 2014, pretty much all of its secrets had been found out by gamers. And the level of play top echelon players are now capable of is honestly jaw-dropping. Smash Brothers tournaments always got tons of entrance. Street Fighter V or Marvel vs. Capcom might get 20 or 30 people to show up, yeah. but Smash Brothers routinely brought in 50, 70, sometimes even 80 people. Whether these tournaments were held in Greenville at 1UP Games, the Tech Shack in Clemson, or in Charleston or Columbia, the Smash Bros. scene in South Carolina was a big frickin' deal. It's so funny, too, because you kind of take it for granted as a Smasher. You kind of just, like if, I, like, if I played another fighting game and I heard that 30 people were at a tournament, I'd be like, dead game. I'm not playing that shit. I gotta fight the same guy over and over in quarters? Fuck that. I'm not playing. Like, I, I, I know it's stupid. I know it's stupid and it's not fair. And I know you gotta be stupid to not check out Huel. There's an offer in the chat right now. Go ahead and click that link so you can control your calories with Huel with one complete meal containing all 26 essential vitamins and minerals. It's a high... High energy. The, it scrolled off the screen. It's a, it's a high quality protein blend with slow release car carbs to keep you from snacking. Check it out. And it made some serious chatter. Another but big. No, I, I forgot what I was saying. No, I I feel like as an FGC, like I would not know what to do because I feel like that's such a low number coming from Smash. But it's so privileged. We are so lucky. Organizer in the scene was Evan Tripp. Many of my subscribers will know him as the cameraman for my on-location shoots. He helped the Tech Shack and Clemson organize Tiger Smash, it looks just a series like of Smash Xander. tournaments that I help run that easily drew in 70 entrants at a time. But Except in December of 2014, of Evan lets me in on a little secret. He's working with a professional Smash player named Matt Sharp, aka Starlord, to organize Olympus, a massive event that will draw in over 150 Sharp. unique players with tournaments for nearly every Smash game ever released up to that point. Melee, Project M, a mod for Smash Bros. Brawl, and the newly released Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U. Evan and Matt are hyped as hell for this. They even run out of venue to deal with the massive crowd, the Clemson Art Center. This location had a big central room complete with a stage where organizers Starlord could was sit a good player and a streaming in the setup with commentators who would have the biggest matches of the day. Dude. There was, a, there was a cursed time. I want you guys to know this. If you weren't around for this. Before Smash 4, Smash commentators would wear whatever they wanted. They would wear hoodies. They would wear shirts. They would wear jackets. They would wear overalls. They would wear jumpsuits. They would wear whatever they wanted. Now, Smash commentators will wear basically whatever they want. They will, they'll wear hoodies, they'll wear uh, their team sponsors, tank tops, whatever. During one time between 2014 and 2016, we all got dressed up. And I don't know why. I think we all wanted to make Nintendo happy. <laughs> we were all like, maybe Nintendo will notice us. Literally, all of us got dressed up. Not a joke. We'd wear button-ups. A lot of them would wear blazers and ties. Seriously. 
It was it was different. It was different. You remember the yeah the tide toss? Now I usually do like wearing a button up for top eight day. I like wearing you know just something a little bit more uh, you know a collared shirt. But and I don't think I ever did like a whole suit. But there was a time that pretty much every caster was trying to get noticed, and it's so funny that now we've reverted back. They broadcasted That's live so on funny. Twitch. In January, the event Simps, is beginning to take shape, of. and more and more people yeah, are generating a buzz about Olympus. And it's not just a bunch of scrubs from the tri-state area either. Big nationally recognized players have also. Is that? Does anybody know if that's Lee Martin? He wouldn't be there. This is Carolinas. Lee Martin's from Louisiana. I don't think that's Lee Martin. I just, it, Lee Martin to me, the the way I think of Lee Martin is uh, baseball tee with a with a beanie. Yeah, I, I know that's ESAM. It says ESAM, you guys. I do see it. Lee Martin was a brawl Meta Knight who... Uh, who was known as the butthole master. Lee Martin once met me at my friend's house and played me in friendlies. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. Uh, Lee Martin, he came to Maryland for pound four, and he stayed at my friend Danny's house, and he was a really good Meta Knight player from Louisiana, one of the top Meta Knight players. And I was a top DDD player. Actually, no, I sucked back then. This was before I was anything. And him and I played, and he timed me out in friendlies. And I was like, this guy's an asshole. He, like, would laugh about it and joke about it, but I was like, why did he do that? This guy's mean. But his name was the Butthole Master because he was... You know how a year ago or so, uh, this guy, like... A year or two ago, the whole, like, meme was like, do you eat ass? Eating ass? Haha, -ha, eating ass. This guy was on that in, like, 2010, and he would tell everybody. And it was really weird, and everybody was kind of uncomfortable with it. <laughs> he wouldn't shut up. So that's why he got the name Butthole Master. Yeah, people ignore. I just, I can't. He, yeah, hipster of ass. Yeah, he was on it before anyone else. Born in the wrong era. Yeah, yeah, this was back when you would be frowned upon for speaking of such, uh, speaking such way, so. So committed to the tournament. Players like Twitch, Fatality, ESAM, Drugged Fox, and many others. These guys will go on to be some of the highest ranked Smash players in the world in the ensuing Cut years. this out the but video and put it in the intro. Cut this out of the video entirely. What the fuck are you talking? This is Twitch exclusive. They were a big deal. Matt Sharp, who holds a lot of sway in the community. That's not Lee Martin. That's not him. No, never mind. For the tag Star Lord is also making Lee a lot Martin of noise always about wore the beanies. Event Didn't matter what time. In mid February, was. Evan tells me that he has nearly 100 people already pre-registered for the event, meaning that they're already in the system and only need to show up on the day of show. But this should have been our first red flag. By week of show, your total number of pre-registered players will be about half of the total people who show up on game day. The Monday before the event, we have 120 <clears throat> pre-registered players. Evan and Matt were originally expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of 150, but now it looks like more than 200 will show up. Oh god! There are overflow rooms available, and Matt and Evan seem like they're set and ready to deal with the extra crowd size when I ask them about it. But it's worth noting that they oh, aren't just making man. money on entry fees. There's also a venue fee of 10 bucks, so they make money on every person that enters the art center that day, whether they're running in the tournament or not. The showrunners are financially incentivized to get as many people through the door as possible. This would end up being the single biggest fatal flaw in the entire tournament. Oh but whatever, God. damn the torpedoes full speed ahead, I think to myself. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Friday night, February 27th, the day before show, I roll into Clemson with Evan, Matt Sharp, and two of our mutual friends, Josh Bradbury and Will Wallace. They're here to set up before the big day and to help organize things on game day. We're all paid 100 each for our trouble. Dude, I... Was Overwatch out? Before this? Huh. Same time? This was the beta? Okay. I didn't know if this was, like, taken after the event or what. My, it, like, fucked with my brain. I was like, what? I was making it just five full-time huh. TOs on the floor. 
but we'd have some help. Some people will have their venue fee waived and act as assistant TOs, but Thought they'll also be time traveling in the tournament. While they're not playing, they'll be helping. We start setting up tables, TVs, and game cubes along the outer walls of the main hall. I want a central island in the middle of the floor with an additional eight setups, but Evan tells me there's no way to protect the cables on the floor that would have to be run out to the island. Plus, we need the extra floor space to deal with the massive crowd. Another guy is there setting up coolers all over the place. He works with Red Bull, <laughs> the energy drink company, and is just there to supply free energy drinks for some brand recognition. a bunch of coolers everywhere. One small problem. He's brought the wrong brand of Red Bull. He pulls all of his materials as we're still setting up unfolding tables and chairs, and he'll have to drive all night back to Charlotte to get the right <laughs> stuff and bring it back on the day of the tournament. That poor bastard. You pro Wait, they can't let you rock with the normal Red Bulls? He had brought the wrong Red Bull and they're making him go back? Just let him use that one! What are you talking about? Give it to him. Dude, Red Bull is crazy. That's... I can't believe they would do that to him. That's so sad. He brought the blue one. Yeah. I was going to say, like, you bring the the yellow Red Bull. And now you have to drive all the way back because it's not the peach one. Dude. Drive all night back to Charlotte to get the right stuff and bring it back on the day of the tournament. Red that Bull poor bastard. crazy. As we're finishing setting up the room, the manager of the venue tells us to pack up and move everything. What? Why? Well, there's a poetry reading happening tonight in the main hall. And he wasn't told we were converting the venue tonight. Apparently, some sort of horrific miscommunication had occurred. Oh. We ask if we can just wait it out and set up later, but this poetry deal is going to take hours. We pile everything back up into our vehicles and agree to set up everything on the day of show. We'll show up two hours early and get it done. Myself, Josh, and Will okay. had driven 45 minutes from out of town to help that night, and all for naught. We go our separate ways to so rest bad. up before the big day. Well, all of us except Evan. Evan had invited a few Smash players from out of town to crash at his place before the event. That's usually Except that during his communication with them, several more people had been quote-unquote invited to stay at Evan's residence. There's more Dude. than a dozen people at that two-bedroom condo, and they're playing Smash and Rough Housing well into the night. This shit happened all the fucking time! This shit sucked! Homie code? You would invite three people from out of state. You'd be this happened to this happened to me so fucking much. I'd be like, hey man, hey, you guys want to come down? Yeah, you could stay at my place. You invite some people down, and then three people become four, become five, become six, become seven, and then you're living like fucking sardines. It was so bad. I'm so glad we're past this era. Good God. Some don't show up until one a.m. There's so many people at Evan's place that some are even sleeping on the stairs. Yeah. At 7 a.m., myself, Will Lawless, and Josh Bradbury roll up to the venue, and Evan and Matt Sharp are unlocking the doors. We get everything hooked up and powered on by 9 a.m., but another problem arises. It's so weird We don't to have enough setups. Now. Game cubes and 14-year-old copies of Melee don't exactly grow on trees, so we can't just run out and buy more. But Matt and Evan say that's taken care of. They've offered to have the door fee of anybody who brings in a complete setup. TV, GameCube, and a copy of Smash. Oh, no. Wait, hold up. Another group of people getting their door fees waived? So yeah. we're chipping away at our main source of revenue. Yep. And there's no cap on how many setups can be brought in. Plus, we don't know who has what. Potentially, everybody could have their door fees cut in half if they brought the right electronics. The first tournament is supposed to begin Where at 11.30 a.m., so we have a good chunk of time to get people registered and hook up their setups. I'm instructed to do registration. I, I put everybody into an online bracket manager called Challenge and write everybody's name down by hand as well so I can do a manual bracket if need be. But wait, I was supposed to be managing the tournament itself, get people where they need to be and hurry the bracket along. That's my strong suit, not doing the menial but very necessary job of registration. That's something one of the assistant TOs should be doing. But Matt assures me that registration will be done with yeah, quick, and you can go back it's to running French. bracket as soon as it's all said and done. We open up the doors and start registering people at 9 a.m. sharp. There's a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people. It you know what's insane? I don't recognize anybody in this video. I thought I would recognize some. I know Esam. That's it. It was hours that's crazy. before I could even see the end of the line. So many people, in fact, that people are coming up to us by 10 a.m. saying that there's nowhere to park, and they weren't wrong. The Clemson Art Center's Man. parking lot was barely enough for the. What the fuck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's maybe 25 parking spaces here. What the fuck? Where will they go? Staff. How are what? we supposed to park 150 players here? Matt and Evan instruct oh, everybody to park here? at a shopping center on Highway 28 just next door. But we never gave anybody at that location a heads up as to what we were doing. We kind of just <laughs> told people towed. to park there and prayed that nobody got towed. They're all getting towed. Also, this is done by word of mouth and a loudspeaker. Facebook posts are made, but by now it's way too late. People are parking all over the grounds, all up and down Butler <laughs> and Gantt Street. It's honestly a miracle we didn't get the cops called on us for creating a massive... There's cars everywhere. Cars in the area. But while all this is going on, I'm working registration 
for one hour, then two, and then three hours. Man. Melee Doubles has already started and I'm still not even close to done. Finally at nearly 1pm it's finished. No new people come through the door. The final tally of unique players at that event isn't 150, it's 260. We are in no way, shape, or form prepared to deal with this many people, oh, most of which come from out of man. state. The Georgia scene had come out in force, and people all over the Atlanta, Marietta, and Gainesville areas are here for their very first tournament in South Carolina. Plus, we don't just have 260 people here, we have 260 people plus their entourages. Yeah. It's impossible to tell, but there's at least 320 people there by most estimates. Yeah, Despite I was going to say, it's always bigger than outside, the entrance. Yeah. The inside of the venue is already starting to get hot and humid with that many people crowded inside. If the fire marshal got called, we would almost certainly have been shut down for being over capacity. But during registration, I also had to take care of giving out discounts to people who brought setups. I'm directing those people to Josh and Will who have to pick places to place the systems. One kid yeah, even brings a 30 inch them? tube TV on a pair of hand trucks as his setup. Why? I hear Josh say over my shoulder, hell no, get that thing out of here. <laughs> the kid protests saying that he brought a full setup and wants his discount. Josh simply says, yeah, sure, we'll give you the five bucks. Just get that thing out of the way. 30 inches? Way. Before Jesus long, all of the Christ. overflow rooms are filled too, and now we're having to turn people away who brought full setups. Yeah. About 30 setups get turned away, but to avoid the ire of any players, we still give them a discount. About 60 people get their venue fees cut in half. Oh my God. Melee doubles ends an hour late, and melee singles are started at least two hours they behind They lost $300 schedule. there. 150 people have registered just for that tournament alone. I try to get a hold of Matt Sharp during the ordeal, but there's one big problem. Matt Sharp is participating in the tournament. No! Fuck! <laughs> Oh no, he's playing the whole time. It wasn't Lee Martin. It was Matt Sharp. Dude, when people who are running the tournament play in the tournament, I forgot that used to be a thing. That doesn't really happen at tournaments I go to anymore, I guess because I don't go to locals. This shit would kill brackets. It was so bad. He's only Man. running in the doubles tournaments, but we need him working on the floor. Unfortunately, he's paired with Esam, an extremely talented player who yeah, easily so they're gonna go the really far. finals, yeah. taking up the maximum amount of time oh, away from Matt. Man. But wait, what about all those volunteer assistant TOs? Well, they're not wearing any staff t-shirts, there's no way to identify them, they don't have any walkie-talkies, and we don't have their cell phone numbers to text them, so there's no way to communicate with them either. Every single assistant TO oh. might as well have stayed out in their car. I never talked to a single one. They were far more interested in playing in bracket than helping. A good chunk of them were from the same group that had driven all the way from Myrtle Beach clear on the other side of the state. When they all got eliminated early, they just dipped and left us for death. <laughs> Even if we could text the assistant TOs, there's no guarantee we could have it's gotten a It's a learning hold of them. experience. Cell service was garbage all day, and the Wi Fi at the venue is overloaded almost It's a immediately. learning experience. Evan runs the entire tournament, challenge brackets, Twitch streams, and all off of a Wi Fi hotspot on his phone. At one point, the stream dies on Twitch altogether. Not to mention, with the influx of extra setups at the last second, there are entire setups that are hooked up but aren't in the registry, and aren't running bracket matches. Those unused setups get commandeered by players wanting to play friendly and money matches outside of bracket. Yeah. One thing to remember about Smash players is that they live for Smash. Yes. They want to play it 24-7. Yeah. So when we find it's a free weird. setup to run bracket matches on, we have to shoo away a bunch of players trying to play friendlies, get the attention of the tournament entrance, corral them to the setup, and then shoo away the new Smash players who have already taken up residence at that setup again. Yeah, it's so weird. Smashers want to play Smash so fucking much. Like, I, I get that you're there to play the video game, but, like, if you're ever at a national and, like, Top 8 is going on on the screen, there are hordes of people not watching. They're just there to play. And, like, you know, that's fine. But, like, you could have done that anywhere. You know what I mean? By top eight day, how do you still not have enough smash in your system? It's insane. It was like trying to play whack-a-mole on dozens of different machines at once while also trying to herd cats at the same time. It's a tough so task hard. in the best of times, but almost impossible with nearly 300 bodies crammed into the same tiny space and TOs that are completely out of the picture. At one point around 4 or 5 p.m., Evan spots Will moving dividers outside to the backyard of the venue. Evan asks Will what he's doing. Will responds, we need these to keep the sun out of people's eyes. What? Evan asks, not understanding <laughs> oh, what's going no. on. Will takes Evan outside. Somebody has run an extension cord outside, and there are several stations set up outdoors. Evan asks Will, That's are these sick. tournaments in bracket? Will answers dejectedly, I don't know, and I really don't care at this point. That's a cool idea. Bro, playing outside is kind of based. I like that. Outside smash rules. Pictures of the Hell yeah. setups outside, but if you have any evidence of them, hit me up on Twitter. I absolutely have to have them. 
Melee singles is a complete mess. Hey, at least like it didn't rain. At least tell it me didn't they have rain. Right? And want me to organize Smash Four singles, which are already running an hour behind. Smash Four was the newest game in the series that had just released a few months ago. Which As such, this game requires HD flat screens and newer consoles. Thankfully, the players have the setups in spades, but the overflow rooms are all taken. So I grabbed Josh and Will oh, and we started putting together yeah, setups. Yeah, you can't even play on the same setups. Smash Four singles was run entirely in the hallways in the foyer of the venue. I, Josh, and Will did the best we could, but it was really the players who banded together and made it all happen. Oh. They played fast and clean and had runners who would tell us the results of the match and really back who was to take the setup next. The actions of the players there that night were admirable as they helped us get that tournament underway and completed in a relatively reasonable amount of time. Bro, all these melee players acting like their game is so good. You guys go play in the hallway. You put the new game in the hallway? Come on. We're the new game. We deserve the spot. We admittedly made some mistakes that night, like not advancing Loco into the final bracket by accident, but looking back at it, that one tournament was the lone bright spot on the whole day. I cannot thank those players enough for their actions. Goes to show you, don't night. trust they Melee made heads. that tournament go like clock. Melee friends must I just must merely go. moved names around in a bracket. About halfway through the Smash 4 tournament, I find Matt Sharp and ask him how Project M Singles is going. At this point, only PM Singles and Doubles are left. He answers, we're about halfway done. I relayed this information to Half Evan and way. he breathes a sigh of relief. As we enter the final few rounds of Smash 4 a couple of hours later, I go back to Matt and ask how PM Singles is going. He says, we just started. Oh, so What? He how? Lied. You said you were halfway done. <laughs> Matt says an assistant TO had told him that they were running singles, so he kept playing in his doubles match. As soon as he realized a screw up, he canceled the final bit of PM oh doubles and split God. the pot five ways. I was at a loss for words. It was well past 9 PM at this point. <laughs> Melee singles had taken seven hours to complete, and PM singles had a similar number of players and was going to take just as long. There is no at hope of 9 getting it done. I'm now on a sinking ship with no damage control options left. All that is left to do is watch the bow sink under the waves, take my $100 check, and swim ashore in the wee hours of the morning. So, I, I think some people might be watching this and be thinking, you know, who cares? It's not a big deal. Just start the tournament or do it the next day. When you have a tournament this big, you have people coming in from everywhere. So you have people driving two, three hours, and they probably don't plan to be there every single day. So you can't just, like, tell them to stay another day. If they have lodging somewhere, like a hotel or something, you can't do that. You have to get it all done on that same day. So... They're kind of fucked. I can hardly bring myself to tell Evan the news. Instead, I tell Josh, who gives him the bad news for me. Oh, we have to be out of the man. venue by midnight. But Evan talks with the manager of the property and negotiates another hour. But 1 a.m. is the hard cutoff. We you have to be play packed up and out of the venue by then. The manager is locking the doors at 1 a.m. regardless of who or what is still inside. At midnight, PM Singles has finished its pools and moves to a 32-man double elimination bracket. But Evan and Matt call it quits. The they have one hour to do a 32-man bracket. The prize pot will be split 32 ways. Okay. That's final. <laughs> Making the final payout $15 per person. Just enough to Pay cover the out. venue fee and the entry fee. Some players beg Evan to continue the tournament over at his house, but Evan has had enough and refuses. True. It'll be 1 a.m. by the time the venue is cleared out and 1.30 by the time he rolls back to his apartment. He's had it and so have the TOs. Dude. The final results have Twitch as the Melee Singles champ, Twitch and Drugged Fox won Melee doubles, ESAM won Smash 4 singles, Project M singles and doubles both had to be scrapped. As me and Josh are packing up the setups that belong to Olympus, some people are even still trying to play friendly matches if we try to herd people out the door. Stop! Josh unceremoniously rips an extension cord from the Stop wall, Stop playing the, the fucking final few game! matches into darkness. After some vulgarities are exchanged, the final few holdouts leave the venue. At 1 a.m. on the dot, we get the last setups loaded into Evan's CRV. We kind of just stand there a while not knowing what to say. Evan hands me, Josh, and Will, Benjamin, a piece, and we all head back to our homes. Oh my Josh and I God, were roommates dude. at the time, and we had driven to the tournament together. We didn't say much on the ride back. It was a total disaster, and there wasn't much left to discuss. Plus, we were just too tired. Yeah. What few stories we do exchange were just us venting from the whole ordeal. We try to piece together what went wrong, but we soon realized that listing what went right would make for a shorter list. On the 45-minute drive back to Pattersville from Clemson, we spot one bright spot on the way back. The welcoming red neon glow of a jack-in-the-box. We stop for a consolatory <laughs> burger, but my stomach is so tore up from drinking Red Bull all day that I can't even finish it. I come home, oh, pick up an Amazon package part of at all. my door that thankfully hadn't been stolen, and fall face-first onto my bed. I drift off to sleep thanks to pure exhaustion. The next day, the reviews are starting to trickle in on oh, Smash God. boards and social media. Dude, this is tough. When people start reviewing your tournament, oh no. Yeah, th this is when you start getting blown the fuck out. Olympus was the this worst match bad. tournament in the history of South Carolina. Yeah. Bar none. The players from Georgia are ripping us to shreds. Evan and Matt go complete. <laughs> this guy. 
South Carolina, oh, bar none. The players. From so actually, I have a not so good story about this event. Really? Actually, is that true? You don't say. <laughs> you had a bad experience here at a tournament that didn't end until 1 a.m. and top 32 was split evenly, fifteen dollars each. From Georgia, actually, are us to shreds. Evan and Matt go completely dark, not Man. even attempting to do damage control for fear of further antagonizing people. And chief among the angry tournament goers is Fatality, one of the biggest names in the Smash community oh, both no. then and now. He was there, and his scathing review of the tournament was entirely earned. But to his credit, he did give us some constructive criticism. There should have been a player cap, the venue was too small, and we barely had enough staff to keep the place going. In the months that ensued, Evan laid low, but eventually got back into holding tournaments, and had quite Good a bit him. of success in later years, having learned from his mistakes in 2015. Good for him. He also knew not to even go near the Olympus name for future tournaments. True. Instead, he focused on using Olympus as the brand for his esports team. He had some success with the guys on his roster. Is Instead, that he focused on using Olympus as the brand for his esports. That's our thing. Hell yeah. Good for them. Team. Good shit. He had some success with the guys on his roster. Oh, that's literally the smaller our tournaments and I think I commentated ones, that match. But in yes. 2020, okay. Evan sold off the team to pursue other opportunities. As for me, I never ran another tournament ever again. The reputation of the <laughs> upstate Smash team was pretty well tarnished by that point. Smash Carolina and Tiger Smash quickly fizzled out. Players from out of state were burned too badly to come back and give it another go, and the big time players knew to stay away. Fatality's disgust at Olympus was echoed by most, but some oh, people admitted they had guy. a good time, and a few even tried to run defense for us. Evan told me sometime later that after a vase had been broken in one of the runoff rooms, he ended up only netting 1k for the event. Considering the headache that it was, the months of planning that had That's gone into it, it, and the damage to his reputation, it was hardly worth it. I had received 100 bucks for what had been a 16 hour work day, and even if <laughs> If another tournament had popped up, I probably would have declined to help out anyway. That was really all there was to it. Man. To anybody who attended that tournament and happens across this video, I'd like to just say this. I'm sorry, and I hope you're in a situation now where you can look back on it and laugh. It'll make for a good story at parties, I'm sure. We bit off more than we could chew, and at any point, any one of us could have stepped up to say so. The writing was on the wall early on, but we were so blinded by the money and the glory that nobody wanted to speak up. We the money and the glory. All of the fame and fortune of a $100 check in 2015. Listen, I've been him. Truly, I've been this young man. At Apex 2015, I said this in the interview that got published today, at Apex 2015, for all the hours I did of work, for everything that I did, I got paid $50 for the whole weekend, and I was thrilled. I wasn't even young. I was 26. 26. I was 26 years old and I got paid $50 for Apex. Not a joke. Not a joke. Nope. People have jobs at 26. I had a big boy job. I had a big boy job. I just also commentated Smash events. I've been this guy. The money and the power. I just, I, I get it. I really do. It wasn't like I signed up for $50. This is how the environment worked. I want you guys to picture this. We got asked if we wanted to commentate an event, and we were like, yeah. And then we just showed up. We didn't get told what we were getting paid. We just got told we were getting paid. That's it. We just showed up. I'll never forget the first big boy paycheck I ever got from Smash was from some 2GG event. I don't think it was Civil War, but it was some event before Civil War that I went to. I don't remember which one. Some saga. And I didn't think I was getting paid. Like, I, I, I got the invite, and I thought that's all I was getting was an invite out and a hotel. We never talked about payment. And then I got home, and I had a check in the mail from them, I think it was Esports Arena, for several hundred dollars. Huh? And the rest is history. Not even kidding. Yeah. I, I, di I, I didn't know I was getting paid at all. I thought I was just getting a free trip to California. And that was in 2016, maybe? 2015, 2016? What happened to 2GG, by the way? They still stream. 2G Gaming. 
They stream uh, a big uh, MSM. They stream all kinds of offline locals now. They're huge. 2GG is still around. They were just way bigger in the Saga era. That was like their time. I think it's because SoCal was such a strong region. And they had a real early lead in the production aspect. They have really good theming. Um, they haven't had a chance to grow as much. And I think a big part of that is just because Ultimate's been offline. They had Congo Saga, right? But I know that they uh, they don't work with Esports Arena anymore. So that's a big part of it. But but yeah, this is this. Th I've been this guy. I get it. You dreamed big, but flew too close to the sun. Anyway, that about wraps it up. I'm Slap Shoes, and I'm sorry you had to watch this. Listen, as somebody who didn't go to the event, I accept your apology. You're right. We can laugh about this later. We can have a hearty chuckle. <laughs> you did a bad job. I'm actually very happy that that other guy uh, still got back into TOing after. Like, if it was what he wanted to do, you know? This kind of shit happens, man, and I feel for this guy, because this poor guy, like, he got put in such an un... Like, you don't sign up for this. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what's going to happen. And then this shit just plops into your lap. I have less sympathy if you have a series that's a national series over many years, and consistently your pools start at 8 p.m., I'm not going to say which one, but there used to be a Smash series uh, that had Nationals, you know, several times a year, well, a few times, and every single time, the pools would start mad late. It's not Smash and Splash. Smash and Splash fucked up one time because they did a waterfall bracket. Smash and Splash was bad. Guys, you guys think it's Smash and Splash. It's not. Smash and Splash fucked up a few times. Uh, like, one big time with the waterfall bracket. It's not Evo. It's not Evo. It's, 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 it's... It, there's one event that was notorious for being a huge issue in terms of timing. It was crazy. Chat's getting it. Chat's getting it. I'm not going to tell you. Genesis is fine. Genesis is fine. Genesis is fine. You guys know what it is. Man. Yeah. All those tournaments were disasters. Truly. Okay. Well, this one was pretty bad. I don't know if it's the worst tournament I've ever seen. I was at Apex 2015, and I'm going to look into that next. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look back into the past at Olympus 2015. Listen, this is how it was. I was around for it. Maybe some of you were too. This is how we lived. This is what we've come up from. So every time you see Smash Majors, and you see all the glitz and the glamour, and all the fame and all the lights and everything, just remember, we used to be in this book club convention thing, whatever this was, <laughs> having to put up d derailers to stop the sun from shining in our eyes. It was so sad. So, hey, if you want to be a part of the growth, subscribe to the channel, huh? Maybe, please? So I never have to go back to that? Please? <laughs> I'm too I'm too used to this lifestyle now. I can't go back to that. Please subscribe. For the love of God. <laughs> I've, I lived in the darkness for so long. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> please help. Okay. Good movie. I do want to watch this one when I get back. I do want to watch uh, Apex 2015. The problem is that this is more of a melee dock than it is for the tournament. Like, the tournament ends at a certain point, but uh, the like like the story of what happened to the tournament happens. But Check out Turn Down for Walt. Great creator. It's good. But the rest of it is... Uh, just very much about how the tournament went in terms of like, you know, storylines and whatnot. But I think the most the most pressing part of Apex 2015 is how we moved in. Because this shit was insane. And I have a lot of stories about it. Um, Apex 2015, when I got there the night before, I walked into the venue room. I might have been one of the only people to ever see the venue room. Not a joke. I walked into the venue room of Apex 2015... Uh, Gimmer, where is he? I just saw him. Where's Gims? This young man, Gimmer, 
was setting up the production. He runs VG Bootcamp. He was setting up the stage and everything, and he says, Zach, this isn't working. I was like, wait, what's up? Zach, there's no way we're going to be able to do this. This is insane. I was like, what's wrong? He said, there are too many people coming to this tournament. We're going to get shut down. And he's like, yeah, I think the the guy who booked this, um, I think this hotel is like funded by drugs or something. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on here, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to get shut down. I'm like, what? The next day, the, 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 the roof of the parking lot collapses. Players have nowhere to park. We have to drive 45 minutes to another location. And the, the, the hotel was foreclosed. I was, I was parked right next to this. I was parked right next to this as it happened. We're going to talk more about this later. This will be its own... Uh, I, I'm going to watch this whole video later. This, this tournament was fucking insane. I'm not going to make it a story time because I don't have enough stories from, uh, from it. I showed up the night before. Gimmer told me it wasn't happening. Um, everybody went in their rooms. Well, maybe I do have a story. I might have a story. Why are you guys chanting? Why do you guys do... You guys are so impressionable. Come on. Maybe I do have a story. I got into a verbal fight with a guy. This is... I didn't, like, fight him, but him and I had some words with each other. Because, uh, we... We, um... I told this story. There was a guy that wanted... he Melee... Or no, Smash 4 finals happened before Melee. I think. Yeah, Smash 4 finals happened before Melee. And he had his stuff on the seat. And I was like, hey man, can we sit there? He was like, yeah, but I want that back for Melee. And I'm like, no. I, no, you can't leave for all of Smash 4 Top 8 and then come back for Melee several years later. Like, you can't... Th that's insane. You can't leave for four hours and then come back and still have your seat. And I think... I think wires got crossed because I was saying no, but I think he thought I was saying, okay, it's fine. And then he came back wanting his seat, and I'm like, dude, it's been like three or four hours. No. And we had a little bit of a discussion. That's all that really happened. It's not really a story, but... Anyway. Uh... We'll talk about... Maybe I'll make a story time. I don't know. There's some other stuff that happened that weekend. Anyway, uh, we are going to do some solitarying so we can finish the show before I leave. But first... <laughs> it's your favorite time and mine. Guys. I got a core bounty. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> We're going to play some core on the stream. Now, I told you all to download it. If you if you guys were good and you were here earlier, you would have known to 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 be ready for the core bounty. Go play some dodgeball, some fall guys. Don't know what core is? It's a lot like other games you may have seen where you can build games in the game and then you can you can play other people's games. It's great. I thought I downloaded it. But now, uh, I found out that was just, I don't know what happened. It's now downloading again. Now my OBS crashed. No, it didn't. I'm okay. I have to download the distributable. An existing installation of Core has been detected. Oh, shit. Uh, I have Core? Yes? Core detected. Yeah, I guess. I thought I I thought I uninstalled it. Whoopsie daisy. That's synopsy. Uh, okay, we're good. Why would you uninstall it? Because I was running out of space on my hard drive. I had to make some hard choices. Hold on, I gotta connect my account. Bro, come on, I installed this already. It won't let me link the account. What?
Oh, here we go. Good. Oh, you could just do it from the site. Wait, maybe they don't have a thing. Oh, you could just do the site. They have My Hero Academia? Wait. Wait a minute. Death Run. All hail big number. <laughs> uh. All right, let's try. Do the bidding of big number. Okay. Sure. And remember, all of you can play with me. All you have to do... What? What do you mean, download core? What? <laughs> he already did. What the fuck is this? Huh? What? What? <laughs> I now have two cores. Don't troll face download core. Set up successful. Got it. Play. Open. What? What? Okay. This didn't happen before. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait. This didn't happen to me before. What happened? Core? Is it because the epic thing? Do I have to log? I have to log out. That's what it is. No, 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 Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. It's because the core account is not the same as the epic account. Don't worry. Thank you, Hippo Frogs. Don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. Hold on. Kooky carts? Oh my god, they have Mario Kart. Wait. Launching core. Pause champ. I think we're good. I think. I think. I think. Is this the game? <laughs> uh. Let's go! Yes! Yes! We're good! We're go oh god, the frame rate. Okay, it's just loading. It's just loading. Don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. And don't leave. Okay. I'm loading kooky carts. <laughs> it's time to get real kooky. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Allow access. Allow. Okay. Oh, this is mad kooky. Oh, what's good? Hold on. We got to turn the graphics up. How do I turn the graphics up? Uh, what? Why do I have bad graphics? Ultra graphics. Engage. What's good, everybody? Welcome. Let's play some kooky cards. What? The footsteps? Where do we go? Oh, found the carts. I want this cart. Uh, you can't buy it. We don't have the money. I don't think we hit- Where do we go? Oh, wait, all of us have our own little cart. Here we go! Oh. What? What? Huh? Ha okay! Here we go! <laughs> Oh, it's time to get kooky! It's time to get... <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's too kooky. That was too kooky. I said let's get kooky. I meant responsibly. Wait for me! Kooked? <laughs> Watch out! 
This is pretty kooky, I will s Fuck. Guys, I promise. This is way harder to steer than you think. Please believe me. This is really hard to steer. Guys, please in the game chat, put in the chat that it's hard. Please vouch. Am I in last? I think that I'm in last. I'm very far behind. It's not so easy. All right, here we go. I'm going real fast. No, not the red. I can't move. Here we go. It's fine. I have $975. Oh. Oh, no. I'll catch up. I'll catch up. I just got to get really cool. Where is everybody? Everybody's so far away. Nice try. Shortcut. Woo! Uh, okay. I guess that was too kooky. That was a little bit too kooky for the game, I guess. Halfway. I love to hear it. I like to hear that. I was confused. He cut. Wait, did everybody crash here? Bunkulees! What happened to Bunkulees? Is he just really far ahead? No, he fell in the wall. Okay. But, no, I did not. I did not get crushed. Die. Holy shit. No, 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 no. My, it's too kooky. My controls are reversed. Okay. We're good. Here we go. Just gonna go through the spooky area. Okay. Here we go. Almost done. Dude, these games are so much better than what they used to be. Probably mad games for tonight. Is Bunky Lee still dead? <laughs> Guys, it said if you get stuck, hit K to fix it. Bro, come on! Oh, no. Chip me out right at the finish. Wait, it says 22 out of 20. Okay, no. How'd I do? Wait, Bunky Lee's finished? He finished before us? Oh, the race is ending in 10 seconds. Don't bump me, dude. That's not safe. Come here, you shithead. Come here. He won? <laughs> he won. Well, I got third. I got third. That's Pog. That's Pog. Good shit. Good game. Oh, we could have danced on there. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. No more... No more kooky carts. Let's play. What's a little big head? All hail big number. Let's try that. That sucked. You won. What do you mean? What do you mean it sucks? You got to win. Not all of us can be winners. We'll watch Solitary after this. We got two episodes left. What the? Uh, bring me stars. What the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> what? Well, uh, I. What? Stars. How? I got one. The. <laughs> Does anyone know what's going on here? Dr. Stone has the biggest number I've ever fucking seen. Where the fuck are we? Star generator unlock it. Oh, this is like an idle game. What? Dude, it's an idle game. Yeah, I think it's an idle game, and when you get more, you get... Okay. Maybe not. Wait, Blitzball? Like, from Final Fantasy?
Like, Blitzball Blitzball? Wait. I've never played it, but I hear it's good. Okay, this is too much. Throw the ball into the red triangle goal. Two points by throwing the ball while inside. Steal on the enemy ball. It's, what? All right, how do I? All right, let's try. Uh, get team assigned. <laughs> right click to sure you can. Sure you can. Sure you can. But this will start the round. Teams must be even. Oh, uh, uh, we're all on blue. Wait, why am I the only one on blue? Okay, I... What? No, don't remove me from a team. All right. Force start the round. I'm trying to force start the round. Go assign a team. Why <laughs> is it this working? Start the game. This <laughs> slow shore Yukin is killing me. How do we play the game? Oh! What the fuck? Get the ball! Sure you can- <laughs> Am I on team one? I- <laughs> What the fuck is this? How are we breathing? Oh, good catch! And then he just threw it right in. <laughs> Give me the ball. No, fuck! Ooh. Ooh, watch this one. Ready? It's in. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Got it. How do I pass? How do I throw you? Oh. What this dude playing defense? I'm, th I'm throwing it. He stole it? Vile sh Okay, this guy's actually a pro player. He's smurfing. What the fuck? Give me the ball. Sure, you can. God damn it! Let me have it! Oh, here we go. Oh, it's in. It's in. Boom! Hell yeah! Wait, where's the ball? Oh, throw it in. Throw it in. Yeah, just keep cycling it. Keep cycling it. Oh, shit. Stop him! Where's our goalie? What the sure you can these dudes? What the fuck? He starts running before even... Wait, throw it. It's in. What? How did he grab it? Where did the ball go? Who... Who has the ball? Where's the ball? Oh, there it is. What the fuck? The ball flew out of the field. Good catch. Pass it. Throw me a pass. Wait, the score is 7 to 1? Where is my team? Stop him. Stop him. Okay, I do not have a goalie. Ooh, it's going in. No, it's go <laughs> the fuck? Ow. I I'm dead. I'm dead. Get up. What the fuck is my guy doing? Okay. Somebody concussed me. What the fuck? I got Johnny concussed. All right, hold on. Where's the ball? New ball at center. Bro, this game is 10 minutes long? That's too long. Wait. I am the John Heisman of Blitzball. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's in. You're so mad. Don't try to shore you can me. Ten minutes is too long for this. What about... Honey Magnate? Paradise Roleplay? Most engaging. Let's try the fun obby. Yeah. The fun obby. We'll do we'll do anime next. Okay. What the fuck? Go. I I am. <laughs> Who said that? 
that lady's problem? Okay. This sure is the fun hobby. Fuck. Dude, wait, you have to go all the way back? They're speaking French in here. The cubes, she is beautiful, no? How far out does this go? What the fuck? Where's go. the checkpoint? Oh, is the checkpoint in the middle? Fuck. Go. God damn it. Go. The stupid Americans in their lobby. Our obby lobby. That's Captain Jack Sparrow. How did he get to be Jack Sparrow? Nobody can do this. Nobody can do the squares. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. God damn it. This is impossible. Wait, how do you how do you get the bike? Do you guys remember the bike? Maybe if I spawn the bike. Nobody can do this. <laughs> Hold on. No, this is impossible. This is this is so hard. <laughs> the, the squares don't make sense. They don't make sense. What the fuck? This is so hard. Nobody can do it. <laughs> this is so annoying. The cubes aren't meant to be stood on. Wait, that's two, two, two champ, three champ. No, 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 no. Okay, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. This is the rest of the bounty. Anything is possible in Core. You can create any game you want. Or you can play Obby for an hour and a half. God damn it. <laughs> How did people make it to the end? Wait for me. Wait for me over there. Don't leave. God damn it. What? Okay. Wait. D dude, I literally. <laughs> I landed on it. I fully landed on it. And it took it out. This is insane. The rollback thought that I landed on it. The rollback was like, oh, he got it, right? No. God, who greased up these cubes? Wait. Third one's easy. Okay. Oh, he's a madman. Jack Sparrow, goodbye. Here we go. Yep. Okay, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't wait, don't wait. We gotta keep going. Diamonds. God damn it. Diamonds are easy. Diamonds are easy. Yup. <laughs> I, I legitimately could play this all night. Don't je ma vie sur ce dél vite fait je revenge? J'ai un mobile de setage. What's the word for true in French? Literally. Do do French people have any memes? Right. 
Do French people have the same memes as us? Or do they like... You know? No? Oh, that's so sad. Stop crying, Jack. No! Okay. Die. I can make it. Dude, I'm so talented. This is a momentum jump. Jump on the edge of the platform and bunny hop. Bunny hop?! I have to bunny hop? Dude. No. No. No bunny hopping. No. No. I never had to do that before. No. Little big head. It's a Pac-Man clone? What? No. What's Hero Academia? I've heard of this anime. Let's see how it is. Damn it, my cam's up here. <laughs> Come on, guys. I heard this was a good anime. Let's give it a shot. Don't ignore. Come on. What? Whoa. Uh... What? Press I to spin? Oh, I see. It's... Bro, stop! Stop! Okay, let's go to the gym. We gotta go to the gym. Where is the gym? Everybody, look for the- I see the cafe. Stop punching me. Leave me alone. How do I activate PvP? Hide nameplate on shelf? Oh, on self. <laughs> shelf? How do I activate PvP? This man quirkless. Shut up! I'm working on it. Where's the gym? Wait, over here? It says PvP off in the top left. How do I change that? There has to be... What? Somebody has a gun? Oh, shit! <laughs> he mowed all of us down? Jesus Christ! What a quirk that was. Wait. Kill in the All Might Park 5 Thug. Okay. Where is that? <laughs> Murder. Well, that's what they do on the show, right? <laughs> How do we turn on PvP? There- What the fuck is killing me?! What quirk is that?! <laughs> I'm just dying instantly! You need to be level 20 for P. Okay, never mind then. Dude, who's shooting me? I'm gonna find that guy. Where is he? I will be a hero. Is that a bad guy? I think. And Dude, mu okay. Okay. His quirk is being able to teleport at a moment's notice. Stupid. Let's play Death Run. So annoying. That's so stupid. I love Death Run, by the way. I did not. I love Death Run games. I want to do a lot on this stream at some point. Death Run games are so funny. They're so stupid. I have to wait next round. What? 
The way death run games work is literally one person just pulls switches to activate traps and the other people have to have to make it across. That's literally it. Didn't you play this last time? I think I played something like this, but I don't think it was this fleshed out. But we'll see. Wait, are there two death people? What? What? The runner chose the hunter hunt? Death run is goaded. Yeah, I want to get Gmod and get people together to do death runs. Like the old YouTube days. I think that'd be very fun. I guess this is what you do. Like. After you complete the maze. Why are you wasting our... What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in there? <laughs> Why is this hallway so long? This game is very silly. When is the round up? Okay. Really? Dude, just die. You can't fight back. <laughs> what the fuck? Ready? I guess. Inspect. Oh. Uh, alright. Go. What? Where? Okay. Uh, Oh god. Don't let it. What? Goodbye. <gasps> this music. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Okay. What's the order? Two. One. Two. One. I will be the last man standing. I will be the last man standing. Okay. I can do this. I do I I do want to set up a death run server. I think that'd be very funny. Oh god. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead? <laughs> Die. I think you can only activate the traps once. Huh? Uh? Uh, oh, you thought you would get me. Nope. Nope. Not me. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it's over. Okay, fine. I was the Ready? last man alive. I didn't lie. I did not lie. I was the last one alive. I was the last one alive. No, I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I won. Go. What? Oh no, I'm another runner. Don't try to cross yet! Lunk? How did he- where did he get that? He has his flag on his back. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he skipped the trap. Go on, guys! Zombie boy?! Hey, pull the- go, dude. I wish I could do that. Wait, what do we do here? Okay. Got it. Oh god, everyone's dead. Lunk! No! Lunk did what he died doing what he loved. Playing his little horn. Okay, uh... Can I touch the water? Yeah. Okay. Come on, ninja zombie boy. Oh, shit. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Got it. Oh, boy. It's just you and me now, zombie. Well. No. He's gonna let me pass. He's gonna let me pass. They're gonna let me pass. Oh! 
Oh, no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Some. Wait, hunt the hunter, trap the hunter, bunny hop. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Now the trapper becomes the trapped. Goodbye, Cartoon Blaze. Okay, he escaped. Ready? He escaped. I don't. He got away. I don't. I, I don't know what happened. He got out. Go. What the fuck? Oh god! Run! Run, everyone! You first, though. <gasps> Bro, I'm nice at death run. Too violent to show. What? Okay. <laughs> Look at the two hunters. No, wait. Okay, you bounce on the rock. Did everybody else bounce on the rock there? Look <laughs> at the hunter. Yeah, dude, you that rock isn't safe to stand on. I think he thinks the trumpet is a... He thinks the trumpet is going to kill him. Jesus, die. Come on, hi. Oh. You really thought. I wish I knew how to do that trumpet. Go. Bro, what? I'm I'm running. I'm just after this. <gasps> after this, then I'm running. I'm not stopping. I want to be the hunter. He's gonna expect me to stop. Nope, I'm not here. You're pulling it a little early, friend. A lot of people are gonna get through. Uh oh! I'm going. Woo! Oh no. Fuck. I tried to outpace him. I almost made it. Alright, let me go pee. One second. If I'm the hunter, I'm gonna lose everything. Oh. No! Look! No, 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 no! Okay. Phew! Phew! Okay. That was scary. Stop. I can't even hear him. I can't hear. The it's soundproof glass. It's soundproof glass. I can't. Okay, I can hear that. Oh, I can kind of hear it. He's playing very loudly. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You, can't, you son of a bitch. He literally waited for me. You just waited for me. <laughs> That's so frustrating. You just waited for me to go. Alright, bro. Let's go, Leah Mania. I got one more round and then we'll switch. Trying so hard to trigger it. I feel like it's impossible to win, right? Like, there is a point where you can't react and wait. Maybe not. What? 
Yeah, the traps can only be activated once. I think he's dead. What? Okay. Yeah, so there are a ton of these in uh in Gmod. I'll show you after this. Ready? Am I the Oh, I might be! I might be Hunter! Please! There's only two blues. Go. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. The shoe's on the other foot now. <laughs> well, well. Fuck. God damn it. Maybe... Maybe this is harder than I thought. Sammy, you do the honors. Go! Hit! Wait. I'll kill that guy. That's fine. We do have several more to kill, though. Oh, no. We only have three more traps. Oh, no. I'm not good at, at being the death guy. What? Somebody else died. Sick. Come on in, Cartoon Blaze. Come into my chamber of ice. I'm not gonna do it. Until one of you are in. I'm not gonna do it. No. Come on in. No. <laughs> Goodbye, Luck. A noble sacrifice. A defiant toot from Lunk. Oh, no, 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 I don't know what this does. I don't, I don't know what it did. Oh, no, there's only one more. What? Oh, no, Cartoon Blaze is going to kill me. No, why'd you hit the button? No, come on. Oh, fuck. We're so screwed now. What's one, two, three, four? I don't know. I think one is on the left. I can't see. I can't. Oh, we won. I don't know how, but Ready? we won. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Gunball? What's gunball? What could this be? Guess a sketch? Hold on. We'll do that after. Let me see. What? Yeah, this sucks. It's like Rocket League, but with a gun. Guess a sketch. Like this? Oh, we played this before, right? Okay. We'll guess some sketches. Who would like to guess some sketches? I think it's just Scriblio, yeah. I would love to guess some sketches. There's nothing I would love more. So that's what I'm going to do. Ah ha ha. Okay. Most points win. Okay. All right, Bunky Lees. Show us what you got. Wait. This game's mad loud. Uh... What? I can't... You can't guess. How do you guess? I didn't mean to type... A that was an accident. I actually didn't mean to. Vamp... Vampire... Why the fuck am I typing in there? How do you... How do you type it? Okay, I got it. I got it. I forgot how you do it. Because you have to, like... You can't just type enter, because then it goes in the chat. How do I not chat? That's a vampire. It's a specific vampire, too. I think I might know this vampire. And he might hunger. For the savory taste of a Twitch Prime. Mmm. Hungry, hungry vampire. 
why is this take? <laughs> Who hasn't ra Fall Guy, you gotta ring in. Everybody else finished it. Okay. <laughs> the word was vampire. True. Yeah. Damn, it's cyberpunk. Four? Line? What is Pia drawing? Toast? Anvil? Chef hat. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what are you doing? What? <laughs> is that it? There's four let Tank? Fr oh, it's a Pepe, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's not... I don't think that's in the... Is it a Pepe? Can you give it eyes if it's a Pepe? That's a terrible Pepe. Wait, is it? Oh my god. I got it. I got it. I got it. Phew. Okay, that was close. Some people didn't get it. Some other people didn't get it. It was frog. It was frog. I got it though. I knew it. Let's see what you have to draw for us, hmm? What do you have for the class? Such a good player. Mm -hmm. It's a long line. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. That's mad easy. No problem. Excellent drawing. Well done. Fall Guy, how have you not gotten it? Fall Guy has zero points. It's two words. <laughs> My turn. I want to draw. Oh shit, the beach. Wait, this one only is 10 sec- Oh, okay. They have to accept it. Soda. It's eight letters? <laughs> good drawing. That's a good drawing. Good drawing! No, you don't need to draw anymore. I know what it is. I know. <laughs> we know what it is. Yeah, everyone guessed the word. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Dude. Where did they get this music? Oh my god, thank you, Clinton, for the five gifted. Holy shit. I just saw it. Big thank you. And thank you, Too Lazy to Be Creative, for the gift as well. Big thanks. Thank you, Orange Fruit, for the sub. Axe the Grind and Lloyd. Thank you. This is a uh, cloud, right? Yeah, easy. Easy. The clouds don't normally say that, though. That's new. Bro, when do I get to go? I thought it was going up the thing. Six letters. Uh. Oh, snowman. No? It's... Oh! Yeah! I got it, got it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Easy, 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 easy. Good shit, good shit. Good, good, good. B brings up the menu, I can't type. Yeah, none of the words can have B in them. 
because B brings up the menu. <laughs> no, that's not... You fucked it up. Now how will Pia know? How will Pia know what it is? Now it's a bloody Christmas. I don't know. Pia! It's six letters. Look at the top. What six-letter word has a Christmas tree and a snowman? <laughs> Everyone guessed it. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten letters. Jeez. Okay. Uh... Fortress? No. Bart Simpson? What the fuck? Stronghold? It's a Mario castle! What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Phew! Man, these guys are so dumb. They're so dumb. They don't even know it. How embarrassing. That's a good drawing. Is in last? Wait, how am I in last? Wait! How am I in last? I've gotten them all! What happened? <laughs> How did I get in last? Whatever. <laughs> this music. This music is obnoxious. Being a high schooler isn't easy. <laughs> Between mean teachers, parent-teacher conferences, and his best gal, Stacy, Chad's having a really hard time. What the fuck is this? Thread? Bro, I'm right there. Easy. But he's about to find out. Being a janitor isn't all it's cracked up to be. Thank you, Stir Fry Ty. Why did I only get one point? I answered first. I want to watch more Darmon now. Dude, how have you guys not gotten it? Two decks, Cartoon Blade. What are you two doing? Oh, that's cute. It wasn't fast enough, but it was! Please do more Darmon. I think I will. I don't know if we're putting the video on YouTube. On Utah. On YouTube of Darmon. I keep saying Darmon. It's Darman. Uh, I don't know if we're putting it on YouTube, but I think I'll do it on Twitch more. <clears throat> the drawer gets a point for everybody who guesses right. Oh! That's why I don't have any points. What the fuck? I can't win. That means I can't win. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> I never get the draw. Uh, five letters. Truck? Sick. Damn, they do get one for every single time. That's crazy. That's not fair. I literally can't win. Yeah, if we just don't guess, then the drawer doesn't get points. <laughs> We I mean, just ice them out. Uh, mustard? Wiener. Seven letters? Relish? That's six. I don't know why we didn't get ketchup. I don't know why that took so long. I don't know why that took so long for us to do. 
We got mustard right away, but not ketchup. Man. Oh, green sleeves ass song. Beautiful. He will never drawing. I will drawing. I will drawing soon. I got the double digits, Pog. Dude, pirate ship's a good guess. Oh. First answer. No, I can't do ticket stub because B. Ticket stew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! Ooh, got it. It's a circus tent! Man. <laughs> Just type it out. Let's <laughs> be. That's my shit! Wicked! What, this is 12 letters? What the fuck? Some kind of essay? What the fuck are you drawing? Oh! Okay. Good, good flag. Good flag. Is that what the flag looks like? I think he has it backwards. Is it white on blue? With red? Yeah. No, he's right. No. Yeah. What is it, chat? Okay, I'm kind of embarrassed about this one. That's supposed to be a flower. <laughs> No points for this? Come on! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was gonna draw a horse, but I thought B was funnier since you can't type it. Solo friendly top earning featured. Berry battle? Chernobyl war zone. Jesus. Wait, there's an attack on Titan game? Where the fuck do they get this? Most played. Like, ever? Or is it like... Sniper Alley. I remember Sniper Alley. Don't touch the red? How hard could that be? Actually, yeah, let's do Fall Guys. 
How do you even search for that, though? Jump guys? I think we did jump guys. Oh, wait! Huge update! Wait! We played this before, but there's a big update! Let's go! God damn it, there's a gap there. Why do they make people sounds? They're not supposed to make noises. <laughs> Hop. Season 5, baby! Oh, I forgot you can dive. I think, I think clicking punches. Come on. I'm not gonna win. Well, I might win. I might win if he falls at the end. Maybe? I'm close. You son of a bitch. The bronze sword. Is that person even in our party? Or is this guy just trying to wipe? <laughs> Tricky DoorDash. Okay. What? Oh, God. Oh! <gasps> I got a boost! I think somebody hit me. Well, well, well. One of those cheaters you've heard so much about. Close the door. Let me throw. Let me throw. Let me throw. Yes! Jukes? Bro, this is a dub. Fall Guys champion. Yep. They don't call me Mr. Fourth in the world for nothing. Woo! What? I win. How did... How did that person get there? How did that person get there? What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god, this is so dizzying. Fuck! Thank you, Dana! What the fuck? Dude, I... Shit! I did... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I fell, but there's gaps in it. Okay, this game sucks. This one's not good. This <laughs> is just the fun obby. Why is it called the obby? Oh, obstacle course. A bit of obby. That's what I call it. In Canada. In jolly old Canada. Bit of the old obby. You push... Okay. Push you. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. Bastard. Die. And that's core. I hope you've enjoyed this experience of looking at all that core has to offer. been an hour okay all right you guys ready we're gonna finish out the show dude core is fun i like core a lot i always take a core bounty if i see one we didn't even play dodgeball there's a lot of good shit core is fun i like core all right, uh, let's do solitary, finish the show, and then we'll call it a night. I think that Gmod idea has potential. Yeah, here, let me show you. This is what I planned on doing. I've had this idea for a while. You see, back in the day, a very long time ago, in 2015, there was a YouTube thing that happened where, hold on. Hold on. Let me update the title. Back in 2015, there was a trend on YouTube called the Gmod Death Run. And they had death runs of every type. This one is 49 million views. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is literally all it is. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's go, let's go. This I'm shit wanna, is wanna so funny to me. <laughs> it's just, it's just, like, they have this for everything. There's a Simpsons one. There's a Five Nights one. Oh, this is a sandbox. They have so many of these. Go ahead. And, and I just uh, want to get a group together and just do death runs. That's it. I want to do a death run club where all of us do it. Maybe we start a circuit, you know? I want to do this bad. So I'm probably going to do this soon. I've had this idea for a long time. I don't know if it'll do well on YouTube, though. Because I don't, I feel obviously, you know, YouTube is, but I don't know if I want that audience. So I've been playing with the idea for a while. I think this shit's mad funny. So. All right. Let's watch Solitary. We have two episodes left. I think seven and eight. There is a ninth episode, which is like a recap of the whole series, but I don't care about that. Thank you, Mr. Magoo. Thank you, thank you. Volume check for the scream. Remember? It's a reunion show? Yeah, I don't really care about that. Alright, lights down. Lights down. Content. Disengage. Alright. Let's enjoy. That's too far down. You can't even see me anymore. There you go. Lights down. Let's enjoy. Watching some nationally sanctioned torture. Oh, hold on one sec. Good stream tonight, honestly. This was a good night. I was I was concerned after yesterday because yesterday I was so tired. I didn't like I just didn't want to stream at all. I felt like shit yesterday. So sorry if you guys didn't have a good time yesterday. I just wanted to play Unite. But uh I'm I'm feeling better now. I'm good. Head doesn't hurt. Alright, let's do it. Watch out! Watch your volume. I warned you. I did. All right. Yeah, he's in there forever. Yeah, he died. <laughs> what the fuck is... Oh, I think we'll wait a little while before we watch season two there. I think we'll wait a little bit. Season two starts with a skeleton in the box. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning into the stream. I'm going to bed. Uh, I will be gone for the next week. I will be in Las Vegas. Um, so miss me while I'm gone. I might do some streaming while I'm there, but I don't know. Don't expect it. If it happens, it happens. Um, we'll see. So I hope you guys have a good evening. We're going to raid Connor because he raided me. Returning the favor. Connor Reads Pants is currently playing Halo Infinite. I guess he got in the beta. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you, Kenny, for the sub. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. So, like I said, no stream uh, for the next week. I'll be back next Friday unless I do some other streaming. I don't know. I don't know if I can IRL stream in the casino. I definitely want to play blackjack and do some other stuff. You, right, guys, kick up the raid. Kick up the raid. Put it up. Put it up. You get points. We're going to do Sprite Club again in August. Kick it up. Sub decay? I hope not. Last time I left, I got, like... A lot gone. It was uh, it was bad. But then again, I had the whale fight before. So, it's all good. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys on... Uh... Phew. I'll see you guys next Sunday, I guess. Eventually. The sub decay was intolerable. It was, uh, it was pretty bad. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Good night and goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.